and we are recording. Alrighty, take it away. So when we last left off, I believe uh, a few had made it back to the bar. Some of the people that were working on the docks wrapped up their days, got their pay, and made it to the bar as well. Uh, had some drinks, talked about the day, uh, met some of the newer people sat near us, the new potential members. Uh, then they had kind of a uh, dibs auction in the bar and uh, auctioned off a handful of items, including, I believe it was a broken sword, a partial key, or was it a full key? I think it was a full key. It was a full key. There was okay. a coral sword, a silver key, a captain's hat, a jar of questionable substances, your My mask. monocle frame and a coral sword. Thank you very much. <laughs> and they found my mask on the auction, and they turned to look at me like, what the fuck? And Darkalion was nowhere to be found. Because as soon as he heard they were having an auction for stuff they found in the water, he fucking left. Uh, after that, the uh, groups separated their ways. Uh believe our the main group was headed back to the where we were staying and the newer people kind of wandered off to have some discussions and uh, I believe that's about where we left off if there's anything I'm missing feel free to fill it in no. I, I think that was everything yeah yeah. Oh, and now uh, the, the newer group saw some kind of things floating in the sky. I remember that, but I don't remember the details. That was about yeah, it was it was things <laughs> flying overhead, and then and a dramatic chill. shift. Yeah, a dramatic shift. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I was half right. Uh, yeah. It was cl close enough, really. Yeah, 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 I mean, you you got the point that really set us. Set us off to hey, something going on here. I uh, I gotta say this because it was really haunting me, and yeah. I feel like it's important to say it. So yeah. uh, when I was sitting here waiting for Joe to start the recording, I was like, "Hang on a second, I gotta go ahead." Uh, and work that. on. Um, <laughs> I was I was I was really tempted, <laughs> and I don't know why this crossed over my brain, but it did. I can't stop laughing about idiot. it. <laughs> I really wanted to say, <laughs> and there, there's no offense to this, but this is just, it was funny in my mind. I really wanted to say, take it away, Joe Buffett. Jesus. <laughs> and I have so no idea why. Here. <laughs> because you're an idiot, Josh. That's why. Why would that be offensive? I don't know. We've we've now gotten insight into jo Josh's intrusive thoughts. Like I can understand it being offensive if you said Joba the Hut, but you said Joba Fett. Yeah, and Boba Fett's <laughs> awesome. But yeah, I don't know. It just it was the only thing that was haunting my mind at the time. So now that we're out of that, um... yeah, no, I instantly got a text message as soon as Joe started. It... it was just mm. and like it... everything I texted him like, stopped my message. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, where did we actually leave off at? Um, uh, it was after group right two after the conversation. met with people. Yeah. Yeah, group two was having their conversation. They had wandered off, had their conversation, then they noticed the stuff in the sky, and then I can't remember where they were headed after that, but we ended right there anyway, so. Yeah, yeah we, we were headed. It was after the conversation on the boat, and I, last I knew they were heading back to either A, drink, or B, gather their stuff, or both. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, um, Th Sam and Theo were heading back to the, uh, the bar. Okay. Yeah. What was group one doing again? Still drinking. Still drinking, <laughs> okay. I couldn't remember, I was like, wait a minute. My mistake. Uh, Listen, if so... ever you need to ask yourself what we could possibly be doing, just go, ah, oh, yes, it's, it's probably they're drinking. probably drinking. <laughs> Especially Briar. Yeah, group Always one. Briar. Well, well, after the they're... auction was just like, yeah, let's just keep going, and then, yeah. 
Yeah. So you see, now it serves dual purpose because it also helps because Tori, not good at talking right now. Hard to talk when you're drinking. All right, so we can uh, then pick back up with group two going back to the tavern. For the most part, Kasam is going to make his way back and, you know, finish off a round of drinks before potentially uh, calling it a night. Whatever they all plan to be up to, uh, that's up to you, Joshua. Yeah, I would, I would go back with you. I'd probably have one drink because I am responsible. Uh, then I would, I don't know, so yeah, just kind of hang out with him, with uh, Kasam for a bit. Kind of try and keep an eye on the situation outside and make sure it doesn't worsen, and then proceed back to um, his and Demina's room for the evening. Yeah, by this point, everything outside would have cleared up. Um, it was like more of a passing incident. So as mm. you're approaching back to the tavern, everything is back to normal. Okay. Group one, is there anything you guys want to be doing while drinking, or are you just drinking? For the most part, just relaxing, drinking. You're not group one. Yet. Fuck off! <laughs> uh, talking Damn. shit and drinking, like normal. <laughs> Alright. I mean, we're sure. unaware of most other things going on at the moment. So. Just, yeah. just the immediate off the hip, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick draw. You always have a quick draw. Fuck off. Ready? Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> All right. Is there anything anybody else wanted to accomplish this eve? Uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, the dark house. You were doing your farming. Yeah, yeah. Going back and starting to carve out a new mask not painting it yet or anything but just getting it into the shape of a mask and getting it comfortable yeah easy enough everybody else all right so then you guys would eventually retire for the evening uh, in whatever place it is that you stay those of you staying at the uh, Avalith residence remembering to enter in through the windows in the basement it's a very important role. and uh, yeah you guys retire for the night slash morning and all gain the benefits of a long rest. Woo! Yay. All right, back to the docks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was on her vacation shit at this point, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, twerk. Fuck no. Fair. Rava's just sitting at the smoothie shop like a like a bad regular at the bar. Just another, <laughs> another. <laughs> just... No, no, no. See, is just her entire meal is a um, little bit of breakfast, smoothies, dinner. <laughs> Mostly only those two meals because she is not making them herself. Right. As she just like wanders around oh, with either A, <laughs> other people, or just wanders. Mm hmm. Basically, just not being stuck in the house with her brother and Tammy. <laughs> yeah. For her own sanity. Yeah. Because, you know, that whole situation is a lot. Yeah. 
All right. So apart from the uh, people working on the docks, anything anybody else is doing? Oh man, I had to spend so much money. Do I need to become a dock worker? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm poor. Oh god, I didn't write down. Did I write it down? How much? How much was the the stupid fucking potion from Stupid Man and his stupid potions? The the oh, one of the it's mermaid like tier one. Seven fifty. Yeah, it was seven fifty. <sighs> Yeah, I think God. we're gonna need to work at the docks today. God damn it, Dark Hallion! <laughs> Don't blame me for that shit. I'm blaming you for that shit. Ow. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact that it was supposed to <laughs> Go do it. Well, yeah, it was also you. But I wouldn't have had to bid against you and you not thrown it in the ocean in the first place. Yeah, the uh, the very expensive potions from the Abrac Apothecary. Yes, from Abra. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Seven hundred and fifty gold. Or fuck around and find out. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. All right. Well, I will also join the dock workers now because I won't get enough money to buy the potion, but I have stuff that maybe he'll be interested in, so we'll give it a try. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> um, I have a lot of shit in my bag, so <laughs> some, so, some money, some bartering. Yeah, exactly. Fair. Oh, so then. Rob is definitely just like drinking smoothies, hanging out on the sidelines, talking shit as like a horrible prep. We're all working whilst you are just egging us on. Yeah, horrible pep are. talk. Thank you. Yes. All right. What the fuck is in this? You're doing great. You look good. <laughs> <laughs> Big thumbs up. Just absolutely chilling. Sometimes with the king. Sometimes just. Just her. You know, sometimes yeah. you just gotta do what you gotta do. He's hanging out with right. friends while she still can. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for everybody to bring up the mask. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Brad doesn't want to have it out with you here on the dock, so she's just like, you just catch her con- you just catch her looking at you throughout the day. <laughs> Menacingly. <laughs> Menacingly. <laughs> Fox. All right, so we got Darkalian K2 Briar working on the docks. Yep. We got Theo and Kassam being security. We got Selvix somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Selvix with his, being with his companion. Not re not relevant at the current moment. Yep. Uh, oh, we got yeah. Rava at the smoothie bar. Yeah. Smart ass with the smoothies. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, going from the smoothie bar down to the docks to yell at her friends, back to the smoothie bar. Oh, the smoothie bar is on the docks. Oh, okay. Yeah, Never yeah, mind then. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like leaves her station to go and grab yeah, a smoothie. So, <laughs> like, literally middle of the docks, uh -huh. surrounded by different shops, is the smoothie uh -huh. bar. Like it's it's like your normal traditional like tiki bar, except it's smoothies. Nice. I was yeah. like, I got a whole body of tattoos to heal. I'm not working. Yeah, that too. Yeah, she is enjoying smoothies and ignoring. Ow. <laughs> yeah, the it's fact like, that I can't she's... go in the sun. I'm gonna peel. <laughs> yeah, the fact that she's moving right now is a testament to just rather well, sheer sheer amount of fuck you energy. It wasn't her legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair. That's it. It wasn't her legs. Yeah, fair. Sure. Why am I picturing like a weird dock sized <laughs> strip mall? Oh. Yeah. That's pretty much exactly <laughs> what it is. Because <laughs> that makes a lot of money. The, the, the docks are a tourist trap, man. <sighs> fair enough. Oh, you thought you saw High Golf? No, you saw Tourist High Golf. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So as everybody is occupied doing the things that they do, you guys would amass your money for the day. Uh, which once again, anybody working the dock, actually working the dock. So Briar, Dakali, and K2, you guys make 80 gold. 
Uh, Kassam, you make 72 gold, and Fael, you make 64. Is there any plans for after work? Really? <laughs> Hello. Hello, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, well, apparently Briar is going to have it out with me at some point, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I thought we had this figured out. I, I didn't. I thought that was directed at Arcalia, and not at Rama. Oh. Wow. Yeah. No. I was. I was. I was. I was just staring at Darkalian during the. Yeah. Day. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rava and Rava and Briar had their had their thing. We're Gucci. Okay. Dude, just like occasionally, like stop with like a box in her hand, just like stare, and then walk off. <laughs> I'm assuming on the way back towards wherever it is we're going, like he would ask you, you you okay? You kept looking at me today. Fine, are you okay? I should be why. Like the big <laughs> the big thing swings around, then what about this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing that? <laughs> no, it should be okay. like <laughs> that'd be hilarious, but no. <laughs> um, so this sort of give you like a look from the side and just be like, I don't know, anything you wanna you wanna share? Something maybe would have happened in the last couple of days? Not really. I mean, I've just been working. That's been about it. Or anything you want to share? What about oh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Aha! No. I don't know, just, you know, any... Been taking any... Any trips down by the dock? Lose, lose anything? By any chance? Nothing that I didn't want to get, want to get rid of. <laughs> it's just like... Her eyes just like narrow. <laughs> Is this about the mask? <laughs> Throws her hands up in the air, like, of course it's about the mask, Darkalian. He admits it! <laughs> Aha! Now she pulls it out. <laughs> okay, then ask what you want to ask about it. What do you want to know? Why the fuck did you throw it in the ocean? What do you mean, what do I want to know? Because I felt that it wasn't accurate anymore, considering everybody had left, so I wanted to start a new mask. And... They left! They're not dead! Yes, but I wanted to start a new mask with the originals that are still sticking around. You, me, and K2. That's fine. Why, why do you gotta, like, throw away one to make a new one? Because I wasn't happy with how that one was turning out, and everybody left, and every time I looked at the damn thing, it would remind me of everybody, and then it would make me upset, and I just couldn't bear to deal with that every single day. Then why didn't you give it to one of us? Why'd you throw it in the damn ocean? You know how much this thing cost me? Fucking Dragonborn. <laughs> Did you seriously pay for it? How, it was how in the lost and found. It was in the dibs. bucket. It was, it was I, made I it figured into the he bucket. was gonna auction it. Well, well, how much did you pay for it? Too much. I don't actually remember it how much like you paid for it. It was like 400 something. Yeah, it was right? 400. 400 yeah. gold. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, I was like, it doesn't matter how much it cost me. <laughs> <laughs> My god, character development. It's, it's the fact that I had to buy it in the first place when you should have just given it to one of us. Or talked to us about it. 
I'm sorry, I'm not good at discussing my feelings with people. I'm used to being alone. Neither am I, Darkalian, but look, we're gonna have to start making headway eventually. I just felt the, the original mask just wasn't gonna be as good, and like I said, with seeing everybody on it would just remind me of everybody and I would just be too upset knowing that they all left and I just didn't want to deal with that every single day. Okay. I get it. Oh, hold on. Cuz this is this is something that now both of you are saying like what why why? Just why? <laughs> Why, Wait, what, what? Why what? <laughs> they, they they left to go just have, like, happy ever after. Like, what? They didn't abandon us. They just didn't want to do what we do anymore. Felt like abandonment, K2. The definition okay. of abandonment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they left. I'm to work on my own emotional traumas, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you I left. Think the I think the first step is to not foist your emotional traumas onto other people and not have them act as proxies. Who's talking? What? <laughs> Edward? Are you here to what? teleport me to Gilmore? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I'm here because I have psychology homework again. People... They said find something interesting, and I was like, yeah, I know a case. <laughs> people leave all the time. Did you did you think when we all met each other two months ago that we were gonna spend the rest of our lives together? I wasn't no. expecting it to end as quick as it did. Exactly. We all had we had all these we were all supposed to go to Sarnath, and they're literally right before we were about to go to Sarnath. Everyone just left. Why do you I think Rava's here too? And she's just like <laughs> sipping her smoothie and it's just like <laughs> just Briar gives her a look like, we're cool. Yeah, Still she's just like awkwardly though, walking but... behind you guys like <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, I just picture Rob just sipping her smoothie, just like, and I'm here too. Thanks for asking. <laughs> like... the, the king is also, like, nearby. <laughs> like, right no, there. no, no, no he's, 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 he's sitting where he usually is, but one of the hands is blocking him. So, he, and it's like, the fingers are partially separated, so he's, oh like, die-dying, you guys. He's also, <laughs> he's also sipping at a smoothie. Yeah. But he's doing that <laughs> peeping boss thing. Exactly. Yeah. What a dick. <laughs> look, look, he's here for the juicy drama. Briar still refuses to even look at him. The king or Darkalian? The king. Yes. <laughs> okay, just checking. I don't remember what the last thing was that was actually said in though. Uh, the abandonment thing. Why are we so worked up about it? And why did we think that people were going to be with us forever and ever and ever? Thank well, you. I, I never expected them to be around forever. I just, like I said, I expected it to be longer. And I'm just kind of upset about it. I'm going to get over it. But I'm going to start a new mask. I've already begun work last night on the new mask. And that's just going to be the original of, of us three. No All of a sudden, Briar. this this conversation started with like Briar being like kind of upset with Darkalian, and now she's like switched and has turned, so she's like with Darkalian facing K two, like <laughs> what the fuck K two? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He makes a good point. Fuck you, yeah. guy. I initially sided with you're a dick. <laughs> But it's Run. it's additional on that because I still think it's fucked up. He threw away the mask in the first place, but now I'm also like, what is wrong with both of you? <laughs> and the old mask just to me wouldn't signify what it was originally going to mean, so I wanted to start one with us. Flips back, that's fine, but still. <laughs> it's like the... you're just throwing away everything that happened. Not cool. It, it was no. a piece of wood. It was, it was important. Exactly. <laughs> it had sentimental value. I didn't know you guys felt that way about a mask I was working on.
Yeah, I'm well, sorry. you cared about it, so we cared about it, and then you like stopped caring about it, but we still care about it. Would you like me to reimburse you for the mask? Because you shouldn't have paid that much for it, I'm sorry. There's really only one person who should be reimbursing me for this mask. <laughs> is it the Dragonborn? It is the fucking Dragonborn! Why did he want this thing so goddamn badly in the first place? <laughs> Wait, how did it get so bad? What what happened here? Okay, and then Briar gives you the rundown of, like, the whole <laughs> bidding war with the other two assholes as well that joined in for funsies for a while and then eventually dipped out and then... The dragonborn just kept going until we got to 400, and Briar almost flipped a table. Well, <laughs> they were going at it between themselves, and then the dragonborn went up to 250, cutting them out. And then you, it was the two. Yeah. yeah. Also, and this might just be the human privilege shining through, but how would he wear it? That is a good point. <laughs> like, what would he like? It would just sit on his nose, like his snout, and just be sticking out. How would he wear it? <laughs> Flat like face side? privilege strikes again. <laughs> Don't be sad. <laughs> or like... jealous. Flat face. <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Flat face privilege. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, if we go to Sarnath and that's just like a slur <laughs> for like oh, non lizard folk, it might oh, be now. <laughs> This is that we're gonna talk shit. K2 and I are gonna talk so much shit to these lizard folk being like, Oh yeah? Well guess what I can wear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's when you talk to the wrong lizard folk and they just bite you. I'm into that, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine until the death roll happens. Eh. It's fine. That's didn't... also you... my thing, it's fine. <laughs> you didn't need that arm, right? Mm-mm. P2 can grow it back. He's totally chill. Yeah, I'll make you a new one. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work around here. No, no, yeah, yeah this one, this one we discovered that K2 multiclass again into Artificer. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not adding more to his goddamn stat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe would just murder, murder Mike. At that point... Or K2's it's just going to be a text thing. block it, instead of yeah, I was going to say, block. there would be no picture. You remove the picture and it's only yeah. text. Yeah, yeah I have to add more, I'm going to have to shrink his picture. No, no, just remove it. It's <laughs> actually really funny if I, if I, uh, I, if I knew, like, all of, like, the Valdo stuff was, like, allowed, I probably would have, uh, multi-classed into, uh, the, the craftsman instead of Warlock. <laughs> but it would be fine. Yeah, that would have been interesting. Same Anyways. the next characters. It, it yeah. was like right after I multiclassed Warlock that I found out that was available. It's like, yeah. fuck! <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Alright. Yeah, no, you don't, to, you don't have to... You don't have to reimburse me. It's fine. If I didn't care about it or so much, I mean, I would have just let it go, but... Well, then I will at least finish it specifically for you. Since you put so much money on it for it, I will finish that mask for you so you can have it when it's done. I just looks at you like you're not going to throw it in the ocean again. I will not throw it away. Okay. If I throw it away, you can snap my mask I'm currently wearing. Ooh. Well, now that just seems harsh. I'm just showing you that I'm not going to throw it away again. I see how much it meant to you and I want to do right by it by finishing it for you and giving it to you with the seven pieces of art that I was having planned to put on it. I just walked, so she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A, the... Was that a tear I saw running down the cheek? No, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a cloud in the damn sky. 
It's it was it was just it right there. It's sees flag. It sees flag. Shut up. <laughs> Control water. <laughs> what the fuck did that come from? Never mind. It's just, I'm just sweating from my face. Sweating from your eyes. <laughs> Get some, some sand or something and cut it. God, who's cutting onions? <laughs> All right. What's the plan for the remainder of the day for you guys? Well,. I still want to work at the docks for a few more days. But... We have two more days until my... Two more days until my glaive is ready? Three. Two. Three. Two. 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 Two, yeah. two more days until my glaive is ready. Yeah, so... but We maybe... also need to figure out how we're getting to Sarnath. That's what I was going to say, yeah. So... Just, like, in the meantime, while we're working, like, day to day, we can... Maybe we can, like... We'll be at the docks, so it'd be a pretty good time to kind yeah, of keep our like ear. At, at the docks and at the bar, just just chat up the uh, the sailors to see if who's going where and whatnot. Because I don't know how many people we're going to be meeting at the docks, seeing how we're meeting at the silver uh, exchange. Or like we're working at the silver exchange dock, not at the yeah. international dock or whatever. <laughs> the international terminal. I mean, it, it goes from one nation to another. I don't know what else to call it. I know, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah. Domestic, international. <laughs> Commercial, international. <laughs> yeah, so probably more more chatting up sailors at the bar, seeing how the sailors at the dock are all to and from Silverton. to see who's going to Sarnath and see if we can hit a ride. Alright, so you guys headed over to the regular dots. Ducks, not dots. The regular duckies. The regular dots, as opposed to the dipping dots. <laughs> oh, I love dipping dots, though. Um, uh, Dark Alien is just going to head back to his room and start working on the old mask to finish it up. For the record, I prefer right. diving dots. Just wanted We're, to throw that out there. I will, I will kill you. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Would we, would we have to go new so fast? No, no, no. No. Josh is going to kill Thael. Josh is going to kill Joshua. <laughs> we'll need a new that player. Is, so there's a distinct difference there. <laughs> I, uh, I vote Sam. Ah, uh, that would be fun. No, I want, I, I want Rylan to play. Oh, yes. yeah, 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 get Beans started early. Beans. Joshua, what say you? I mean, I don't want to die, but we can definitely get Beans. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can we do that without me dying? Is that an option? Because I like that option. Yeah, no, he, it, he needs character motivation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get strong enough to beat Josh at D&D. <laughs> He's going to show up at your house after a session one night and just kick your door in and be like, I'm the DM now. <laughs> yeah, just a little like, one-year-old, just <laughs> pure baby strength. <laughs> Boom! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know oh, why God. that broke me as much as it did, but it did. <laughs> because of the chest position! <laughs> just <laughs> as a door in back. Ah. Yeah, ah. yeah, just, yeah, it's just a very dramatic speech. Just, ah! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Anyways. Seriously, right. get to sidetracked. All right, let's focus. Do we, yeah. yeah. Do we have to go to the international docks, or can we just, like, meet people at the bar? You can do either one. I was just asking. Bar! A more days, so you can do whichever you want. Bar! Bar! <laughs> yeah, most most well, people do go to the, the bar. Uh, Go to the uh, the ship, if I remember the name of it. The uh, the uh, the, the weathered ship. That's 
That's what it is. You really made that hard for yourself there. <laughs> I did. The ship. You should write these things down. That. I, it is written down. That's why I had to look ah, Okay. The, the weathered ship. The weathered ship. God, okay. <laughs> Mike, are you going somewhere with this, or are you just having a stroke? Calm down there, Grandpa. Like, relax. <laughs> <laughs> the war is over. <laughs> Go back to bed. Somebody called the ambulance. The weathered ship. The ship for weathering. Oh my god, please, keep going. <laughs> someone stop him. <laughs> I'll be right back. I dropped chili on my blanket. <laughs> wow! The sadness in that too! I, I, mean... I forgot how to use my hands, and I picked up the bowl, oh. and then it fell out of my hands, and yeah. no, I just... Luckily, it's wow. not a lot, but god I mean, no. that's, that really is the blanket's purpose, is to protect you from chili. Oh, I'm leaving. Yes, Mike, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking gremlin. Okay, well, um... This is why, this is why Josh doesn't let us have magic items. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> you make your way to the weathered ship, then, after your, uh... shifts on the docks. And smoothie bar. <laughs> we make our way there with, like... 90% of the other people getting off shit. Yep. Yep. Exactly. It's not as busy tonight because there's no auction, but it's still as regularly busy. Like, all the tables aren't full, but like 70% of the tables are full. <laughs> we take up the other 30%. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> well, you said there was only four tables. <laughs> what? Hold on, something about this math doesn't add up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just sure. there was a there was an offhanded comment last week about how there was only four tables and oh. that's why everybody was right next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed and that. Uh... <laughs> um Yeah. So what's you guys gonna just walk in and start asking around you're gonna hang out and drink for a while it's time to network oh god i, I just heard it's time to do it but it's wizarding duels and <laughs> I, uh, that's how mike does all of his networking card games <laughs> i mean honestly it's not a bad way the only problem with that is that like if it's if it's like if it's not going anywhere, then you're stuck in a table for X amount of hands. I was drinking, people watching, and... talking shit with other people. I'm people drinking, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're people drinking. Vampire's <laughs> hitting hard tonight. <laughs> yeah. Rob is people watching and drinking. I'm people drinking and watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do kind of have to be a little bit more wary when you're people drinking. Most people don't <laughs> like it when like it when they see you doing that. <laughs> Depends on where we're at. Unfortunately, here I think this mm. place will be as chill as. Yeah, I don't think that's good of an idea. <laughs> yeah, I start talking. To all right. Um, trying to think, because of all the dock workers, I'm keeping it out for a stupid dragonborn who owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. We'll. 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 we'll, we'll, we'll We'll paint that one first. Um, <laughs> Wait, no, I said it's so that I could go second. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't... This, 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 yeah. this, there's bearing with this one. Oh, fuck. So, but when you turn the radio on, you don't immediately hear the story about the crazed uh, serial killer that escaped prison. There's some music that plays for a little bit first. <laughs> yeah. Why is it playing Psycho Killer? <laughs> this feels <laughs> ominous. 
Um, would there be a dumbass dragonborn that owes money to Briar in this <laughs> uh, establishment tonight? Um, probably, yeah. Uh... Okay. So, Briar, you would see a dragonborn seated in the same booth that they were in the last time. But is it the same dragonborn? Roll for racism. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think that I, I think he makes a point. I think he, this is important. <laughs> Roll for racism, please. Racist. <laughs> That's what I, I, I mean, I think that's up to Josh to determine. Uh -huh. I am I, I am our relative uh, racist expert <laughs> in the building. <laughs> I know what you mean, but that does not sound yeah, right. Like you're it the really does not <laughs> <laughs> I am the race. <laughs> uh. Say so I I am I am the I am the dominant person of color here and I will be there the you go. factor <laughs> on what constitutes as racism and does not. <laughs> it's much better than I am the expert of racism. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Joshua, you're my friend, and because you're my friend, you sure you want to reward that buddy? <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> We got there. We got there. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. What Anyways. the fuck it even is tonight? Oh, shit posts. <laughs> like every night. It's the same thing we do every night, Pinky. <laughs> shit Anyway. Posts. Um, yeah, so Briar, you would see the same Dragonborn over on the side of the bar. And... K2, go ahead and just make it. Actually, you know what? You would you would be able to find people going to Sarnath. It wouldn't be that difficult. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> I'm just good at talking to people. <laughs> yeah, he is. I, I'm like, what, what? Would there be for any reason for somebody not to go to Sarnath? No. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you would you would find a handful of people that could take you. Uh, the rates are basically identical because they charge distance, uh, so it it wouldn't be three platinum three platinum a mile. Go fuck yourself. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, so you have to be super fucking rich to go that way. Eh, not quite. Yeah, if it was three ply of a mile, that would be terrifying. Yeah, that would be hella expensive. Yeah, it'd be like, fuck, I don't know, over a thousand gold, probably. It would be like driving through every single to toll booth between Philadelphia and Chicago, never making that mistake again. Oh. Ooh, brutal. Yeah. Any hoosers? Anyways. What the fuck was I saying? Oh, oh right. right. I met people. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just stroking out tonight. Holy. <laughs> Frenzy? Um, yeah, you, 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 you meet, heard me. Uh, three different captains that could all take you. Uh, they charge the same going rate for distance. Uh, so a trip to Sarnath would cost 20 gold. Per person. Yep, per person. Yeah. Uh, and they're, they can pretty much leave when they have a full ship. So. Oh, uh, okay. And, yeah, uh... If, if, a, if an early departure is needed, like if you're in a rush, then they charge an extra five gold per person. <laughs> What if I uh, want you to wait? <laughs> Can, do I pay less money then? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I I guess. Uh, so none of them have like a fixed schedule. It's just kind no, of like it, whenever they fill up. Whenever they fill up, yep. So, okay. if you needed to disperse, like if some people wanted to hang back, you could go on a lesser filled ship, but. We would have to pay more to cover the ship not being a full ship. 
Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you, um, you have to pay the pro rate. Okay. I mean, uh, we're we're all kind of loosey goosey about it ourselves because we're just hanging out in town making bank at the docks. Uh, so really, it it really just depends on the ships. Like as long as it's not like in the next two days, because we do have to stick around that long. Yeah, I mean, they typically allow an extra day, so when the ship fills up, then you'd get, like, the day after would be the day that you leave. All right. That, that would be the, the delay. And as of right now, none of them are nearing full, so... Cool. Is there a charge to reserve spots on their ships? Uh, you could technically put, like, a down payment, so you could pay half the money, so ten gold. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Commitment? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> God, you, wanna, you want me to commit to something? Gross. <laughs> How about... We just check in with each other every night at this bar, and then if you're leaving and we decide to go with you, then we pay. That's another way of doing it. Alright, cool. Because <laughs> we're pretty much going to be at this bar every night. <laughs> I basically don't care as long as you pay before they leave. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. I just don't want to put a down payment on, on something if I'm not even going to go on their ship. I don't want to... Yeah. That's yeah. the only way to reserve, so if you're like, I have to go, but, like, I can't commit, then, yeah, that would be it. But you have three options, so if one of them leaves in two days, then you have two more. <laughs> like, Unless they all leave in two days. <laughs> yeah, well, then you're fucked, but, you know. Yeah, then you're a little less well. Well, then that means we'll just hang out around town, making more money until, <laughs> until another yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's fair. Yep. And if it takes three weeks later, then that's... Three That's weeks the risk you're willing to take. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, effectively you've you've learned now how commissioning travel from High Gulf works, at least with these three captains. Which, if there's any other captains that didn't come to the bar, I wouldn't want to travel with them anyway. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're losers. <laughs> Now, Rob will be able to tell you all the captains come here at night. Because they, they, basically, right after the docks close is their ship inspection time. So they can't be on the docks anyway. So Ooh. they're like, fuck it. Do they have, like, an all-captains poker night where they, uh, <laughs> like, gamble with, like, their ship's wages and shit? Like, really shit? They actually shit? do. Yeah. Holy <laughs> fuck, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just haven't been there for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they all walk up and sit down, just captain, captain, <laughs> so doctor, on and so forth. What the fuck are you Ex doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you, it's Doctor Captain. Unfortunately, captain, I'm not. I'm, Excuse I'm, you. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not playing my character. That's a ship captain, or my other character. That's a ship captain, <laughs> or my third character. That's a ship captain. <laughs> right. Okay. So yeah. Briar, he's here. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, God. Yeah, a few minutes. <laughs> the voice comes down from above. Briar. Go. <laughs> oh. Um, I pull the same shit I pulled on Darkalian all day. Or I'm just glaring. <laughs> and then I'll like look away for a bit and like drink my drink and see what KT's up to, and then glare again. <laughs> just glare at Dragonborn. Look at K2 laughing with random people. Glare at Dragonborn. Dragonborn. <laughs> exactly. Look, she's a simple person, okay? It doesn't <laughs> take much. <laughs> 
Every time I look over at K2, he's telling the punchline to, to another joke. I have no <laughs> idea what the setups are, but it's killing. <laughs> but apparently, it works. I think Briar's been hanging out with K2 enough to know roughly what the setups are to a lot of the jokes when she hears the punchline. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> She's like, if I have to put up with it, <laughs> everyone else should do. I mean, if you're just if your jokes are meant for casual like lulls in conversation, <laughs> then like you really need like ten or twelve. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. only need, you only need a solid handful. Um, is it just the one dragonborn, or are they both there? Because I remember there were two, right? No, uh, they are both there. Okay, just curious. Um, what uh, is he doing? I, He's just people watching. Say, so just quick to interject. This is this is in the evening, correct? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yeah. Work has completed. Okay. We're out at the bar. All right. I I would say, um, unless Kasam had other plans, considering the Dragonborn is now like <laughs> the person I'm following as far as oh where God, I'm like right, what my plan are... is. I, I forgot about. That. <laughs> yeah, I would probably be with him unless Kassam had other plans. Well, she's glaring at you too. Then she also didn't appreciate you either. <laughs> I just thought it would make sense, so I thought I would throw that That's in there. That's totally I still had fine. A You're both on the shit list. Excellent. <laughs> so now it's glare, glare, K2, glare, glare. Um, chat with Rava, K2, glare, glare. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the third time. Um, she would look over. Uh, Bray would look over. One of the Dragonborn just has two more arms. <laughs> Glaring intensifies. It's <laughs> the kid's obviously not here. Well, she's probably here, but just invisible. Or not yeah. here. But, yeah, Davina said... Oh, okay. yeah. Sorry, I was just saying. Yeah. <laughs> the child that somehow is able to get into all Look, these places she should not. She's she's a clever one. <laughs> Extremely. So, do you think she's ever actually going to come over here, or do you think she's just going to continue glaring at us all night? If she was going to come over here, she would have come over here by now. Hmm, probably. Ignore her until she becomes a problem. That was a plan. Oh, you poor people. <laughs> <laughs> Little do you know. <laughs> Little do they know. I'm always a problem. <laughs> yes, you are. Right. It just keeps going worse with more drinks, too. So, like. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to bowl over. Oh, yeah. I know what happens when Briar gets liquid courage. Rava, it's it's every bar we're not allowed to fight in, right? It, uh, yes. Okay. Like, so you're telling me is take it outside? Yes. If. I'm not. They don't saying it. give Will. a shit if you're if you fight. They really don't. But it just can't happen inside because it's unsanitary. Unsan. What's unsanitary about fighting? The blood sometimes. That's the, the best part. <laughs> yes, but then they have to. It just doesn't work for. Our... Not everybody Here. is a hemophage. But she is. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Gets up. <laughs> it takes her a second. She's just like, wait a minute. <laughs> and right as you like realize, as soon as the realization clicks in Rafa's mind, Briar has gotten up and is 
Ben's walking over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, just. Well, it appears she's made her move. It appears that way. <clears throat> I'm not concerned. I could have more quarrel with me than you. If such things happen, don't worry. They can handle myself. Mm. Shame. It's so like, the Angel just kind of like leans back a little bit. He's like, uh uh. I want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get blood on my sword. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get blood in my mouth. We can't all be a we can we can't all have what we want, all right? Um, <laughs> apparently, apparently. <laughs> um, just like what color again? Dragon born. Silver. Right. Okay. <laughs> Role play intense. Um, <laughs> Briar, Briar walks over and she just like stops in front of their in front of their booth, and just crosses mm. her arms, like, "Hey, money bags." Mm. The fuck you bidding on a piece of wood for? <laughs> Shrugs. Why not? She looks over at the other one. God, you're gonna have to forgive me. It's gonna take me a minute because I still want to keep calling you by your old character names. <laughs> she looks over at Thale. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, what about you? My purchase isn't your concern. You know, I remember you. I did something nice for your daughter. Or, well, I'm gonna assume, anyways, the kid that was with you. And then you have the gall to just... do that. To do what? You clearly knew how much I wanted it, and yet you kept bidding on it anyways. Plenty of people wanted plenty of things that night. Is it my job to intuit your reasons? No, but you could've just not been an asshole. Ever thought about that? How am I to know what your personal reasons for buying that mask are? You seem I don't to think expect him. you to know the personal reason of why I wanted the mask, but I'm sure you could tell that I wanted it, and unless you've got rocks for brains, which, I don't know, maybe you do. Do you let you everyone... You put two and two together. Do you let everyone... Take what they want because they want it. Clearly not, as I took what I wanted. I think that in this moment, you are making yourself out to be a lot more important in the thinking, per uh, the thinking process of my purchases than you are. You are a stranger to me, and if I have somehow upset you, by attempting to make a purchase that I was not successful in making, then I apologize, but that seems rather fragile. The more things change, the more they stay the same. There was just so many unnecessary words. I think this conversation's unnecessary. I wasn't really here to talk to you anyways, you kind of were just here. So, turns away, looks <laughs> back at the dragon board. <laughs> Starts conversation with me. I wasn't here to talk to you anymore. <laughs> You're really only here to talk to the dragon board. You just happen, you just to, be happen to be yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a two for one deal, man. Yeah. Look, look, man. Sometimes more to, more than one target gets burned. <laughs> Cause, cause I'm, I'm out here catching strays. Yeah, that's what we call a happy accident. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. 
<laughs> just writes down a note. Talk to Thale about uh, person personability. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 Kassan's just got, got like an HR ledger. Oh my god. And we need to schedule this meeting for this. <laughs> for so, this uh, ethics breach. Let's look back at the, at the Dragonborn. Like, seriously, though, 250 gold for a piece of wood? Mm hmm. Were you doing it just to antagonize me, or are you just bored? You take everything so personally, don't you? Was I talking to you this time? I really wasn't. <laughs> no, I suppose that's my answer then, isn't it? Note, uh, make sure to also include reading the room. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to vibe check. All the time. Don't worry. <laughs> it is angry. <laughs> And interesting depictions upon us. Things I haven't quite seen before. Don't think exactly have mass of such structure back where I'm from, considering. Prior thinking back to K2, how would he wear it? <laughs> I've been waiting for it to pop up. I really have been. Um, question for Joe is: uh, Darkhaven is not down here with them, is he? Mm -hmm. He is not. He is back okay. in his room working on the mask. Gotcha. Okay. So you. We're ready to drop. I forgot at what point you tapped out, but a lot of gold for a piece of wood because it had some pretty pictures on it. Why not? Well, at least I know what to expect over in the desert. Sort of like puts that a hand out, gesturing, <laughs> gesturing. Yeah, at you. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, not much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't find much. A couple of nomadic kobold tribes, jackal shrine. It's about all. Sorry, I think I dozed off for a second there. Uh, you're literally one of the most boring people I think I've ever interacted with. Actually, the both of you. You can take your monotone, whatever the fuck's going on over here, and... Man. I've met... <laughs> I've met a lot of people <laughs> in my life. You two, take the cake. I'm glad someone said it. For just... <laughs> Do you know how to speak above a certain octave? Or did you, you know... Did you just start talking like this because you realized no one was listening anyways? So you just kept it at a level where it could just drone on and on and no one would ever notice? I'm sorry, is this a question for both of us? Or is only he still allowed to answer? <laughs> Oh, I forgot you were even here. Look at that. If your purpose is merely to antagonize us, I think you've done that. You can go now, unless you had something else you needed. What I really need is some of the gold back that I never would have had to have spent if you two idiots hadn't decided that, you know, a piece of wood was so intriguing. I would suggest employment. 
I have employment. Well, then I think you'll get your money back. At this point, Robo will come back and just be like, Hey. Probably don't. And just, like, look at Briar and just be like, I like this place. On. And she'll just look at them and be like, Sorry. She gets... She is... <laughs> She's a lot when she's hungry. Uh, you're not you when you're hungry. You're not, you're not, <laughs> have a Snickers. Have a Snickers. <laughs> Pretty much. That's exactly where I was going with that. Um, do they have drinks on their table? <laughs> um, you know, considering how long we've been here, I've probably finished mine, and I don't exactly. I'm not a repeat drinker. Oh yeah, you're a one and done kind of guy. I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, I, I yeah, more than likely. Hmm. More than likely have, or more than likely all done? Uh, I, I mean, as far as Thayil, probably not. As far as uh, Salvix, yes. Ah. How sturdy are these tables, Josh? Oh my god. <laughs> what, are we, what are we looking at here? Is this like a really heavy table situation? What are we, what are we working um, with? Over here, yes. The, ah. the tables for the booth are pretty heavy. The tables that move around for the stage? No, not so much. <laughs> All right then. Well, I guess. <laughs> Won't. Well, I'll leave the table alone. But before I go, I'll try and swipe his drink. Doesn't stop you. It's water. <laughs> <laughs> you take a sip. It's blood. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! No. <laughs> no, obviously. It's vinegar. No, it's uh, garlic-infused holy water. Ah, <laughs> uh, good thing. That doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> yeah. I assumed as much. I assumed as much. You don't play by most of the normal vampire rules. No. <laughs> Yeah, it's because it's a variant vampire. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not actually undead, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Doesn't stop you, so... Yeah. Un unless Josh wants you to roll a check to not fall on your it. ass. Uh, if you don't stop me, then she's not drunk. I mean, she's been drinking, but she's not. Yeah. I, mean, I assume Briar can hold her booze. <laughs> she's been drinking long enough. Um, but she'll One drink it assume. all. Yeah, she'll drink it all right there. And then, like, slam the cup or whatever it is back on the table. <laughs> Final very aggressive glare. There's the tiniest, like, tint of red going on in the eyes. But, and then... <laughs> She'll go with Rava. Hmm. As she's just like walking away, I just look over at Salvix and like, quite the performer, isn't she? Rava just looks at them and she's just like, I'm sorry. Do I hear them? Do I hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to be quiet about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we said I didn't know at what point of walking away. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's probably like right as you're walking away. Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, d definitely within your shot. Hmm. Yeah, um, she's like, I'm sorry. Yeah. For your drink. Uh, Savage just shakes his head. Don't worry about him. It's fine. Exhausted friend with love. <laughs> My but, yeah. God, he owes me about a hundred more. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I guess, d does Briar respond to Thayel's comment? Or does she let that go? Just more glaring. <laughs> okay. And back to glaring. <laughs> and back to the table. Continued glaring. <laughs> hey, hey, Josh, hey, glaring. Hey, just question. Sure. How much gold would a hundred drinks be? 
Uh, here would be like ten gold. Done. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, if it, yeah, it, if the barkeeper or keepers in question would honor that request. Yeah, easily. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just. <laughs> Pay the ten gold and have a hundred drinks sent to Briar. Yeah, they just bring them over in uh, chunks of ten every mm. few minutes. Briar will um, <laughs> completely ignore the monotone men over in the corner, um, and <laughs> <laughs> and um, we'll sort of just like look at the first ten that appear, like. Huh. And she'll go over to where K2 is and, like, give them to him so he can give them to the people he's talking to. Yeah, you return to your table and there's ten more. Empire, what did you do? There's just, like, the tiniest, like, the teeniest of tiniest of smirks just, like, that son of a bitch. <laughs> um, As you and... they're staring at him, ten more appear. <laughs> I was gonna say, how many people are in this? I, it's a pretty I, big, pretty big I picture busy, they're like on bar. trays, so it's just another tray stacked on top of the first one. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, this bar holds uh, 60 people. So, it's so about, there's like 40. There's, yeah, there's probably about 45 people in the bar. Yeah. Cool. Well,. These 45 people get to drink for free tonight, at least for two rounds. Yep. Yeah, two, and then there's ten extra. <laughs> um, Josh. Mike. Tori! Can I... <laughs> Can I control water, ale... I mean, <laughs> I was like, God damn it, you motherfucker. <laughs> Can control uh, an, an amount of ale <laughs> minus the size of the contemplation. I want to see where this is headed. Oh, no. I know, yeah, I do. Too. That's why I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> it's not technically water. But it doesn't, beer is any, upwards, it doesn't matter. So. I mean, beer is upwards of 95% water. Yeah, I mean, if <laughs> nothing else, he could take the water from it, and it would at least stink like alcohol. Well, yeah, I mean, but think about it this basically way. basically PBR, so yeah, it's, it's yeah. basically water. Yeah, PBR. it's water. It's, a, it's water enough. It's water yeah. adjacent. Man, really <laughs> pissing off the PBR yeah, viewers. Yeah, why not? No, nobody drinks PBR willingly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I I was that douche in college. I'll admit that I was I was the PBR ah. douche in college. Yeah, but you're hey, at least college. you can admit you don't, <laughs> you don't do anything willingly in college. Uh, f funny enough, my brother's uh, Irish field hockey team was sponsored by PBR. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so why yeah. not? Sweet. Um, I would like to. Uh, welcome every anybody in the bar uh, to a fun little drinking uh, experience that I developed <laughs> in college. Uh, Excellent. Called called a jet stand, and where, then Mike developed in five minutes. Where they are held upside down, <laughs> and I use oh, control, control water to jet stream ale into your body. That <laughs> sounds like recipe for internal injuries. Yeah, <laughs> but it's fine. I, it's yeah, fine. I, I, I guess it's it's a control water is a cantrip, so yeah, yep. I guess. Necessarily, I can just keep doing it, man. If uh, if Edward were here, he'd be like, "This is uh, questionable." <laughs> this is questionable. It is questionable. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I would say that your first taker that would be dumb enough to do that is probably. Um. Oh no, Josh! I'm the first one that does it. 
Oh, okay. You're the first <laughs> yeah, one, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, he's, he has to prove it's safe. Okay, yeah, fair. Well, you're the experienced person in this, so you have exactly. no issues. Exactly. Let me tell you. It's pretty impressive casting a spell upside down with ale being shot down your throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, um... Next? <laughs> is, is any of the party willing to do this first? Well, Fuck. second. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> the guy on fire! Alright. <laughs> This can't possibly go wrong. <laughs> yeah, right? No, it's alright. Heat rises. It's going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> alright, well... I would say that this would definitely be a con save from you, mm -hmm. Mr. Kazam. Alright. Um, and I would say this is probably at disadvantage. Yeah, you don't... <laughs> you, you have very little control of the consumption here. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it checks out. Ooh. Nope. All right. Con yeah. is not my yeah. hero. <laughs> you don't make it five seconds before you begin to uh, attempt to regurgitate the oh. the the excess being basically forced into your esophagus. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going up and attempting to go back out. Uh, you fall out of the way of the stream, and then create your own upward stream. Oh. <laughs> well, an attempt was made. Yeah, mm, you uh, right. you do not feel good. You're, you're not drunk, but you're hurting. <laughs> you're not drunk, your stomach just hurts. Hmm. So, yeah, you kind of like, while you're laying on the floor, rolling in your own sick, you just kind of make eye contact with Thayal for a second, and he's just shaking his head at you. Oh, uh, let's mm. look. You're not one. You're you are far from one to judge me, Mister. I can't read a room. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's give him a round of applause, than you are everybody. Right now, friend. Yes, no. This is yeah. He gets he gets a he gets a pity applause. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the bartender just like, like a, ooh, claps for you. Good I, job, buddy. I will prestidigitate the vomit. Prestidigitation. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, I, give him a, I give him one of my drinks when he's done vomiting. <laughs> you gotta put it back in you. <laughs> it's just a thumbs up to Briar. It's just like, all right. The uh, the next person that wants to attempt it is uh, Silverton's traveling bard. Oh, <laughs> as he, uh, oh, no. he wants to redeem his 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 good forsaken name. What, what, what I'm picturing happens here is that he gets like halfway through and the robber just comes up and socks him in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> no hitting in the bars. Yeah. No hitting in the bars and also you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh... I, uh, I make it, I make it a little harder for him by making it come back up a little bit before going Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. Whoa. Mike, Rava you just fucking at him. I call this, I call this one the, the silly snake. <laughs> <laughs> I am so done. <laughs> well, yeah, all it's right. like shenanigans, uh, of course. Do you know what this is all done? Yeah. Okay. It's... Yeah. Oh. Uh, so. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. Does he have yeah. a con penalty for getting the shit kicked out of him? <laughs> well, he doesn't have good con anyway. So. Good. <laughs> this is with his modifier. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh... The, the, the force of the, of the alcohol stream basically lifts him off of his... Off of his... <laughs> hands. Uh, it, just into the air, and then back down again as you just fucking like, pull it wheels. back a little bit. Yeah. And then... <laughs> rocket it back in and he just passes out no chance <laughs> he just, like, falls over almost through a table and like <laughs> takes out one of the other patrons who just picks him up and throws him out the door oh come on I can't be the only one here that can hold their booze
open challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it is an open challenge. Um, I'd, I'd say probably one of the other patrons would step up and s see how well they do. Uh, <laughs> one of the dock workers. Yeah, one of the one of the dock workers, who uh who does a really Damn. good job. Actually. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's actually like, you're trying your best to get him to to fail, he, and he, he just holds it. He's, oh, an old, it. he's an old salt. The yeah. idea is not to fail. The idea is to get drunk fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He uh he he's able to 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 take the whole drink and then definitely intoxicated by this point. But he, he's there. He's a we champion. go. He is. Yeah, champion. I did it. He <laughs> uh, started talking. That I fully expected it to be Scrug. <laughs> Josh, my goal is to get the whole bar drunk. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd say over time, doable, as more people take up the challenge. Uh, like, it, everybody, yeah. it's you get you get a free drink from Briar, yeah. and then if you do the keg stand, you get another free drink after. Exactly, <laughs> probably yeah. more. Technically, more. And than they're one. all up for a challenge. So, uh, uh, it, 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 me, it is called a jet stand. Thank you. Sorry, very much. the, <laughs> the jet question stand. is, does Briar try? No, Briar needs to keep herself um, <laughs> not wasted in case she has to go beat someone up. <laughs> I'm not about to get into a drunk fight. I'm not. Put sure. Briar's like I refuse. She's like, if I'm too drunk, I will lose, <laughs> and I refuse to lose. <laughs> if only they had somebody here that could cure the poison condition. <sighs> yeah, but he's busy being a good friend. <laughs> yeah. <He really>. <laughs> We can't fault him for that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Darkalian's busy. <laughs> K2's busy getting the bar drunk. Rava's trying to make Briar not kill people, and Briar is trying to not kill people. Well, Bri Briar is hard. Bri Briar is yeah, allowing Briar Rava to let not, her not actively kill in this moment killing people. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Briar is allowing Rava to let her not kill people. Is that more accurate than the statement? Copious amounts of glaring. Oh yeah. Listen, she can't do anything about that. <laughs> He's like still glaring. Okay, that's fine. You're still just glaring. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I as a since you walked away, I haven't looked in your direction. That's fine. Never really cared about you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, once. The bar is sufficiently drunk. Uh, I would then also a bit inebriated myself. Uh, would then lead the bar in a uh, <laughs> in a singalong of various sea shanties. <laughs> oh no, the sea oh. shanties again. At, at this, Briar and Rob would both face palm like, oh god, here we go. <laughs> Man, if that was your goal, you didn't have to get them drunk. No, <laughs> it's, it's more fun when yeah, drunk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's not that K2 thought he needed to get them drunk. K2 probably knew that he didn't have to. It's just a matter of, yeah, but drunk sea shanties are more fun. Yes, they are. <laughs> um... <laughs> Mike says this as a wizened veteran of the drunk sea shanty. <laughs> uh, been singing yeah. them since I were five. <laughs> I've been singing them since they got popular on TikTok. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, technically, it would be all the way back in uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, but whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, and then the last uh, sea shanty... When, like, everybody's on, like, level of drunkenness where they're, like, they're all, like, on the verge of slurring. <laughs> yeah. They're all slurring. <laughs> and, like, they don't really know the words anymore anyway. They're just kind of, like, making along. sounds to the, yeah, sounds to uh, the melody. Is when I would uh, lead them in a brand new sea shanty that I created myself <laughs> in my own native language so they don't even fucking know the words anyway. <laughs> Yeah, they all look around confused, thinking that they're all just too drunk to remember which one it is. Yeah! And try to sing along anyway. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it's probably to the tune of a popular one to make it even more confusing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like my favorite holiday pastime, the Cthulhu carols. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah, this checks out.
All I right. want. I want to also see how how the how the new sea shanty is received among people. See if it if people see if people will uh, try and like think. Oh, that that's actually a really good one. I I might try to remember that if I'm if I can remember in the morning. Make a performance check. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I I might give you a salvage response, but I need a performance check. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Why did I go in the edit mode? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to edit my performance to be as high as possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, 32. Damn. Oh, yeah. People definitely remember at least the tune to this one. That's uh, fine. It might, it might take them a few days to remember the lyrics. It's like old Anzine. Nobody fucking knows the words, but everybody <laughs> knows the song. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mike, do you have any conception of like what K2's native tongue sounds like? Like if it has an analog to uh, anything? I, or have you have you not considered that? I do actually. Okay. Uh, the real the real world equivalent is uh, a bit more akin. To French. Okay. So it, it it has a bit of natural lyricality to it then. Yeah. Damn it, Mike. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you'd know at least one of the Dragonborn kind of like. Okay. <laughs> Not necessarily seeming like incredibly impressed, but like obviously having taken note. That was, that was the the uh, the most important question, though. Does Briar like the <laughs> the what the sea shanty? The sea shanty that I rolled a thirty-two on performance. <sighs> was she paying attention? <laughs> she has to struggle to not like bob her head because she's busy glaring, and it would look really weird to glare while bobbing your head along to a song. Um, but her feet are mm -hmm. tip-tapping. That's good <laughs> enough for me. <laughs> He's like, God damn it. <laughs> he got me with this one. This one's really catchy. <laughs> right, all of a sudden, she's like, I hate that I actually like this one. I know. I like to imagine that for a brief moment, they both catch each other, like, liking the song, like, and they're like... Jiving <laughs> to it. <laughs> Just, yeah. Damn it, K2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shit, he got us. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at a thirty, like at a thirty-two, it's like I can't even be like, nah. no, it's 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 good, dude. Like it's it's come on. Yeah. You'd be like fucking the biggest music hater in the world, and someone rolls a thirty-two, and. <laughs> mm I like to imagine that we have made many dock worker friends tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Free drinks, uh, the jet. <laughs> and many enemies tomorrow when we all show up late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck were all of you? Everyone shows oh. up over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're talking just... about Darkalians on uh... Yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. yeah. everyone but you. drunk enough, they won't remember that it's your fault that they're drunk. No, no, we mean, like, like, everybody like, else at the docks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah all like, the supervisors are like, where yeah. the fuck is everybody? Yeah, yeah. the dock master like, and all them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone just hobbling over, like, at the very last <laughs> yeah. minute to work, like, uh. Half, yeah, half our fucking, <laughs> well, not, yeah. the significant portion of our workforce, you're all fucking, did you all get fucked up last night? You know you're not supposed to. Look, man. There was three drinks, and there was a guy just fucking. There's a thing. I don't remember it what was it was like called, jet, but he it was like a jet stand. <laughs> yeah, but it was ale that got just shot down your throat, and then we all started singing, and it was a real fun time. I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Fuck you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Fuck. Meanwhile, man. Greg just walks Greg away. Greg is like... here. Greg just like walks he is. away. Greg is the bartender. He's just like not hey. Greg. Li oh, I thought you were talking about the Greg that lives in. Um, in uh, Gorbaz's shield. No, Greg is literally <laughs> the name of the bartender. 
<laughs> Did that? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I remember yeah. That. So, 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 so actually, Greg's having a great time. He just made. Mm hmm. He just he's made a, a He's having a blast. Yeah, so he made 10 gold. <laughs> like, well, yeah. yeah. That might be more than he sees in the night. I mean, if 10 gold buys 100 drinks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we were aiming for quality. Briar said, you owe me like 100 more. And so Alex was like, all right, bet. <laughs> I'm not paying for top shelf, but I. Oh, it was like you. He heard you won't, and was like, "Hold my beer." What's crazy is like, that's not even like it doesn't seem like a lot of money, but then like when you when you take it down and, and think like, oh, one drink is one silver. That's actually some high quality ale at the same time. Yeah, th yeah, uh, yeah. Especially <laughs> since like you know, workers' wages yeah. in other places would be bad, but here, yeah, yeah, ten gold is a day's a day worth of work for these people. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an hour. It's an, an hour's hour. worth of work. Oh fuck yeah, yeah, it's ten an hour. Why did I think it was yeah. ten a day? Oh, it would be like yeah, it's... us paying like fifteen dollars for a drink. Yeah, <laughs> or for, for a hundred um, drinks. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Drinks. yeah, that's, that's like actually me. really. Ch it's pretty cheap. It's incredible. It's like yeah. me buying myself dinner yeah. and thinking, ah, this was an hour worth of work in dinner. You don't think <laughs> yeah. that sometimes? I do. It's a really I, weird it's abstraction. No, I've had it's an yeah. actual thing that I've thought mm. on it many occasions in my life. The, and, yeah, and, and then you eat it anyways, but it's a little depressing. Like, fuck, really? <laughs> okay. This is an I'm hour of my it. life I'm eating right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm still gonna <laughs> eat it because I'm hungry, but like, I, now I'm a little sad about it. <laughs> the, the, uh, like, anytime... That anytime you have to quantify a purchase that way, it is going to kill you a little bit inside. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Would Thale have stayed for the whole whole shebang, or would he have left by now? Uh, I would have stayed, uh, mainly just to continue uh, conversing with you, uh, no, yeah. safety and numbers, all that good shit. I'm a foreigner yeah. here, so fair. <laughs> Does Mister does Mr. Mysterious Dragonborn partake at all? Um. Do we catch him bobbing ahead? <laughs> uh, I, you, you would catch him doing that. Uh, not quite so unabashed as, uh, or not, not quite so ashamed, maybe, as Brian no. <laughs> Rava, if only because they know it. But, yeah. We're um, not even in the same party yet, and already it's just the same <laughs> shit. Mm hmm. <laughs> I would, say, I, I, I would say that 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 they all rather enjoy the musical performance. He's he's a man who has a fine taste. Yeah, for but I I'm talking about the partying. <laughs> <laughs> what what is it about K two that he he attracts people that don't party? <laughs> hey, listen, normally I would be so in, okay, but there are ex there are extra circumstances <laughs> in this moment. I know. <laughs> If I don't have to look after a rambunctious child, I would probably be an alcoholic, considering the um, line of work that I have. <laughs> uh, correct. That is, that is a dark statement. <laughs> um, Kratos likes music. He says yeah. as much. Yeah, I... The, the other Dragonborn probably would have, at least somewhat, not necessarily to excess, um... But the the larger of the two, the one that Briar has a problem with, would not have. Uh, it would be at about this time as the. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Nice. nice. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. I had my dinner caught in my throat still. Oh. Um. Mm. Please never say that. It would be. That. It would be about this time, as the festivities are picking up, that the door to the tavern opens and mm -hmm. a rather t dressed down individual steps in uh, just holding the back of the, the shirt of Silverton's traveling bard okay uh, this is a dragonborn hmm and you guys are multiplying <laughs> as the uh as he steps in he just looks around and says somebody left their dog outside <laughs> and just drops him Rava 
like starts choking on her drink, laughing. Um, for anybody wondering, this is a copper dragonborn. Oh. All cops are best. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as he drops the bard to the ground and approaches the uh, the table, or not the table, the uh, the bar, uh, you guys can see the uh, very obvious out of place weapon. Um, some of you recognize it as this is a double edged scimitar. Ooh. Whoa. Man, if I wasn't really attached to my glaive. <laughs> um Yeah, uh the, the Bri <laughs> Uh Briar, who's glaring, as well as uh Thayal and Kasam. Salvix visibly tenses staring at that dragonborn. Thayal is also staring at him. He's just staring at him for a different reason. <laughs> I'm more just looking. At, I'm just more looking between Selvix and this uh, copper. Wand. Yeah. Just um, like... Theo, as you're staring at him, you notice that on his right arm uh, coats a, a series of tattoos that seem to shimmer in the light, a, a blood red. But I have any idea. I, I assume that these aren't your. Average ordinary tattoos. Hard to tell. It could just be a lighting thing. Uh, and against his copper tone skin. I would point them out to Selvix and ask him if he do you recognize those markings? I think he knows the guy. Question. Uh, uh, do either Kasam or Thayel speak Draconic? Yes. I do, yes. Okay, both of you do. How convenient! <laughs> um, it's almost like they planned that, what? knowing where oh, we were going. Why, why, why would you ever do that? It's almost as if Kasam is a high gulf native who happens to do security um, for docks. Say, and I hunt dragonborn, so it's important yeah. to be able to talk to them. <laughs> um, Selvix. As quietly as he can, kind of mumbles a word. Um, I believe the translation is knife, but I I, I, I believe so. Hold up. Hold up. Uh. I was not expecting both of us to have <laughs> picked your <Draconic. laughs> Sorry, wrong translation. The uh, translation is rend. As in to tear. You're just a cocked eyebrow? It's like... Can't do it that right? Not... Here? here. There. Yeah, you would see the, uh... The Dragonborn uh, pays for three of the top shelf drinks, the whole bottle, and leaves. Shall we follow him? No. Mm. Uh, right. Sorry, go ahead. No, you can go ahead. I can do mine after. I'm just going to talk to you. Uh, yeah. Uh, real quickly before you do, um, you guys see as th this individual passes by the bard, he tenses up, like, and he has not moved. He is just shaking, like, like to his core. Has not moved. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> as yeah, as the dragon bird walks by, the, <laughs> the bard tenses on the ground. Got it. Oh, well, that's hey, okay, even better. <laughs> Did you want to do your thing, Ryan? No, it, it, yeah, just he just kind of like 
watches the Copper Dragonborn all the way out. Um, do I get any indication that he seemed to have noticed me? Um, he never even looked in your direction. Gotcha. I would like an explanation. Give it a moment. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Tori, you can go ahead. Uh, yeah, Briar's gonna look over at Rob and be like, "No one, no one cares about that dirtbag, right?" Pointing She's at the bar. Still like coughing, like laughing, getting over, like choking on her drink from when the, he walked in, and she just <laughs> shakes her head like, "No, no." It's okay, like good. a second later, <clears throat> the door opens back up. And the hand reaches back in and grabs the bard and just pulls him out. Oh. I don't know if he's going to live. Um, no. Because my I thing was just, box. I couldn't kill him. But. <laughs> uh, would you say I am within 60 feet of that bard? Uh, yeah. Cool. As I, he's about to be <laughs> dragged out, um, and cause I'm curious, and hopefully this works, um, <laughs> um, I am, yeah, going to pierce mind, I will blood curse with a pierce mind, and it is an intelligent saving throw. Well, this guy's not very smart, so. DC 17. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Everything within the last 24 hours? Yeah. Uh, Does it, he most live of it, most he also of it's probably impossible. passes out because he gets hit fucking hard, too. <laughs> no, he survives that. Oh, okay. Well, 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 it's on a success that you guys take that damage. He's just done oh, for right, one yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's the other one, if I amplify yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so any failing he does just suddenly stops for six seconds. Yeah, which... <laughs> Enough to be dragged out of sight. Yeah. Um, a lot of it is just him partying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, the, the first 23 hours and 57 minutes of it um, <laughs> are him sleeping and partying. <laughs> and uh, the last three minutes is him just like... Actually, it wouldn't be that long. Because he, he's been outside for a couple minutes, basically, chilling. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you see the, the copper dragonborn approach him and just look down at him hmm. and just stands there for like a minute. Menacingly. <laughs> and like they're just making eye contact with each other. And then you just you can feel the the terror just suddenly hit the bard as he's just lifted into the air. And brought into the bar. And then dropped. And then you saw that exchange. So there was no verbal communication between the two of them. It was just a minute of eye contact. It was just, and then yeah. They just so locked cold. eyes and for a while. <laughs> Intense eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I... <laughs> I take. Oh no, I don't take damage. It's only when they amplify them. Um... Yeah. Cool. Um, Briar sort of like <laughs> comes back into herself. Has like. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I, you saw that so Raven, right? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. There you that, go. <laughs> that expression. <laughs> well, it's not as it's like she does the thing where she like gasps and looks up to the sky, but mm. it's sort of like there's like a small there's like an actual sort of like a physical like huh, as she kind of like just like her her head does like a little bit of a kickback when she like pops out. It's a lot going through an entire day of someone's life, right? <laughs> I, I I mean I feel like it ends up being that just Briar like fast forwards through all of it until it gets to that last bit. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can sift through, but I'm curious to see if anything within that 24 hours was interesting. So right. I do at least kind of meander my way, but, you know. Fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
I'm on like the first arrow of fast forward, not all the way at three, but yeah, like a one. yeah, just yeah, <laughs> like the scan speed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Enough to still Anybody know what's going scanners? on, but. <laughs> <laughs> Briar can't do that. Well, Briar could do that one if they succeed and then die. <laughs> or anyone can with Psychic Scream. Anyways. She just sort of blinks once, just like really. Like a long, like a long blink. <laughs> Huh. Nothing will probably ever come of it, but if ever you're around that dragonborn, the copper one that we just saw, don't stare at him too intensely. Strange, but okay. Now it's like not glaring, but now it's like a curious look that she's giving Salvix because she's like, huh, why did you react so much to seeing him? <laughs> yeah, uh, no insight check required. He's not very good at deception. It was definitely <laughs> not like, a, oh, this is like somebody I have like a friendly rival with. It was definitely yeah. some, it was clear tension. Um, Aggressive. I, I, I would say given Briar's back, you know, background history, more traumatic. Mm. Yep. Trauma um, like a kill right. bill, just woo, woo, <laughs> yeah, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, uh, I would also remind those of you guys, uh, you some of you have seen this individual before. Whoa, yep. I'm dumb. I one. thought so. Uh, uh, <laughs> I thought look, so. Look, listen, yep. so, some of us have seen this individual before. One of us suffered uh, bodily trauma from this individual, and then. Got it all oh, wait, back. is this the one that kicked you off the fucking... <laughs> no. No. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. This is the one that chopped off Mike's... That chopped off oh, K2's arm and leg. Oh, yep. right. Yeah. Oh. I didn't see this person. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the, no, the, the one that threw Edward off was a red. That's why I was like, huh? Mm -hmm. I yep. knew it wasn't that guy, yeah. No. Yeah, that I was a red dragon. Color. That one was red, right? It, it's yeah, been, yeah. It's been so yeah. long. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. encountered three dragonborn. Um, uh, that uh, were notable. Uh, this copper one, the red one, and then the emerald one. The red and the emerald were both seen together twice. Yep. Mm -hmm. Man, this one really cost uh, K2 a lot. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> just a spell slot. <laughs> yeah. I had a little spell slot, but just a spell slot. I can do that. Yeah, some psychic challenge. Ooh! <laughs> True! I can get two snacks? <laughs> uh, God. Te technically, you can get two hours of snacks. Listen, mm. if you think about it, it's gonna be really useful if ever I run out of blood jellies, which will remind myself, make more of those before <laughs> we leave for Sarnath. <laughs> and <laughs> then it's like, hey, Briar, you're not you and you're hungry. Have an arm. <laughs> What are you a ghoul? <laughs> yes. I mean, if it's a, it's a fresh arm, I can just have the blood right out of that. It's not like don't give me an old one. Like we don't need. I don't want jerky, God. but like fresh is fine. <laughs> Why does it need to be removed? <laughs> well, because then I, I don't have to worry about going overboard because it's not attached to anything. Because it's a finite source. <laughs> exactly. It's just like it's it's a juice box. Mm. It would make more sense to not cut it off, and then it just would just regenerate anyway. Yeah, it would just be like a constantly renewing source of blood over the next hour. I guess. Mm. Yeah, but but it's Mike, not as portable. Mike, Mike, you're forgetting the essential concept here. Funny. <laughs> Stop being logical. Funny. It would be a really great party trick. <laughs> yeah. God. God, the shit we can get right. with this spell. Hey guys, want to see a party trick? Disembowel self. Hmm. There's just a long sip. Kasami's is like, so. Oh. 
old friends or we talk in rival who tried to kill you um did you really think he would stare like that at a friend i don't know perhaps they one of them stabbed the other in the back and now they are not on the best of terms betrayal <laughs> Captor. He was one of those who held me imprisoned. Okay. Given what you've told us, I imagine Sarnath does not take kindly to dissenters. No. So... Definitely, like... Secret prison? Or... Like, ten feet under, you know... Small cell. You know, sort of thing. It is a place that the crown may ascend people it does not wish to see again. It is not under the crown's justice. It is under the hold of him and those like him. Okay, secret prison it is. Yes. They hold curiosities. Oddities. Dissenters. Many of the prisoners there are political. Those that would threaten the crown. I never did quite ascertain why there was a dwarf there. Curious. So... You're out here, not in there. He's over here. Is he like foot soldier? Higher yeah. up in the hierarchy? There's only nine of them. Oh. They're all powerful combatants in their own right. Him, one of the more terrifying. And he's here because you're here? Doubtful. The shadows have their own agenda. They are not beholden to the crown. They are paid killers. Huh. And if Sheard is here, then what I felt was probably Free Wolf. So I'm right to assume that that bar is not going to see the light of day. Doubtful. Well, are we, talk are we talking he gonna be left on the edge of dying or just dead? I do not know. His losses have been a consequence. I mean, I'm not a particular fan of you know him, but I am less a fan of you know people who throw their weight around like that. I am sure we will deal with him in time. Perhaps. When I've seen that man weather intense punishment and come away unscathed. If we are to be successful in the task that you are planning, it must, at some point, become an inevitability. More than likely. Granny, you're talking, you know... If your grand scheme is... What we think it is, you're definitely going to cross paths with them eventually. Given, Should you know, the crown hire them, the shadows are... I'm loath to say neutral presence. 
Their presence still indicates a moral failing, but... If the Crown does not hire them, they will not bother to take up arms in their own defense. And though I am not pleased necessarily to permit them to continue if we do indeed topple the crown. We will deal with this one blight at a time. We cannot fight a war on two fronts. I mean, I am to suspect that they don't, they wouldn't be happy you're out and about given, you know, former prisoner. Should we engage him, and should he get away, then they will definitely know of his presence. At current, they do not. I think Salvix may be right. No need to create more enemies than we have already. They may not be aware that I am alive. I did not exactly leave that place in that state. Oh, okay. That fills in a whole lot of blanks. I no longer wish to be here. Yeah, let us take our leave. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, the two dragonborn as well as Theo and Kassam would get up and start making. Making way to leave. <laughs> you can just you feel the look on your back. You can just feel her still staring at you the entire way until you're gone. Yeah. Doing great with just party connections, Ben. <laughs> it's not glaring as they're leaving though. It's still now just like extreme curiosity. But she's just like yeah, so, yeah. It, it's still just the intensity of the vampire yeah. stare. It's just like unblinking. Like you leave and the door shuts. You're like, man, I can still feel it. Like what the fuck? <laughs> As you guys uh, exit the tavern, you find the bard seated on the bench outside, just staring off into the ocean. Do like a check to make sure the lights are on. Yeah, does he seem present? Uh, he's got a pulse. Okay, good. He's breathing. Like you can see his chest inflate and deflate. That is not what I meant. Does he, he uh, seem like he is he aware just... of his surroundings? Not currently. He pays you absolutely no mind as you exit and stand in front of him. Um, do like a flick on the forehead. See, if he's like, <laughs> he's flick him on the forehead. He's like, ow. <laughs> okay, good. He's aware. He's, he's he's alive and sentient still. <laughs> Where did you guys come from? Inside the bar. <laughs> don't worry about that. You should turn home. No good will come of staying out here further. Good idea. He gets up and goes inside. Tavern. If he wishes to sign his hand at the moment, so be it. Yeah. Salvix and his companion will just head back to the ship. Alright. Whether uh, Thayal and Kassam follow is up to them. Sure, why not? If you have anything, Amina else likes the boat. Plan, yeah. If you have anything else, I do. planning is concerned. I stick no. Right. No, no. It's def it's definitely the walk of. I want to be somewhere where I feel more safe. <clears throat> That's yeah. fair. If they have sleeping quarters that would accommodate uh, Thayal and Demina, then we'd stay there. Yeah. Yeah, it would it would cost you a gold for the night. Well, I, 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 yeah, at the tavern or at the ship? At the ship. Okay. Okay, the tavern yeah, doesn't have nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Um, you guys that are in inside the tavern, 
would see the three of them exit, four of them exit, mm -hmm. and then, like, 30 seconds later, the bard comes back in. Like, trying, nothing no! ever happened. <laughs> this entire time, K2 has obliviously been uh, shoulder to shoulder with <laughs> other <laughs> people just yeah. singing, just singing the whole time. Just being a happy, blissfully drunk idiot. Yep. Everybody's having a great time. Uh, Bra gets very excited when the bard comes back. She's like, yes, my snack is still alive. <laughs> For now. She's like, okay, round two. Uh, and she's gonna... Does he look, like, fine now? Or does he still look shaken up? Like, Oh, no, he looks fine. <laughs> Sounds calm and flick. <laughs> Not a matter of sense. <laughs> um. Just don't. There's no nutritional value. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> it's all... Man, that's it. That, 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 and no one cares about this guy, so man. it's it's perfect. <laughs> it's literally the perfect person to do this to, because no one gives a shit. <laughs> but for empty calories. That's fine. <laughs> Man, that guy's gonna have, like, high as fuck glucose. Like, he's... That's all cortisol running through those veins. It's whatever. Briar will it's get up and go towards the bard. It's like eating a donut. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, he's back to party, he's, so he's not really, uh... He's not really paying too much attention to somebody sneaking up on him. Nice! Or a approaching him, I should say. Yeah, I guess I'm not really trying to be sneaky, but hey, no one gives a crap with this guy, so I'm just gonna try and grab him. Okay. You know what? He he's drunk. Um, he, he probably goes with it. Yeah. Yeah. He he he's, he's like, oh, okay. Better to, to resist it. Nice. He given given his personality, he I'd say he probably just lets you. Yeah. <laughs> He probably nice. thinks it'll lead to a different. He, yeah, yeah, he probably thinks it's a different scenario. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. He thinks he'll finally fucking get some, and he's and wrong. he's so wrong. <laughs> he's so so wrong. Um, you know, Briar will just drag him out of the bar <laughs> and into the first alley I can find. Secluded <laughs> spot. Yep. All right. Yeah, you uh, you do so. Um, what what's your passive perception? Passive? That's what again? It's ten plus. It's ten plus ten, perception. Ten, ten, ten plus, plus perception. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong one. I forgot. I have shit wisdom. Eleven. <laughs> nice. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Hey, still had better than Edward. Edward was a ten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen. All right. Perception's not my strong suit. All right. I got, oh, yeah. I got great. I got great stats and a lot of things. Wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Ain't it. <laughs> oh yeah. Trust me. It feels really weird to have a negative dexterity. Ooh. Actually, you know what? This this would also apply. What what's your passive investigation? My passive investigation is nineteen. Okay. Yeah. That Vastly would work. different. <laughs> yeah. That would that would work for the scenario. Uh, <laughs> I say, it doesn't rely on perception. Yeah. <laughs> So as you, as you drag him down to the nearest alley, um, you notice his clothes are getting covered in blood. Oh. That is just being picked up from the dirt. Oh. Wait, hang on. I'm sorry, can you explain that to me? My brain is... L like, basically, there's like a blood trail that you're dragging him over that his yeah. clothes picking up oh oh okay thank you i was like so he's bleeding but from his feet up he, he, yeah, so yeah that's yeah that's also what i thought until I, was like, the dirt. Huh? I was like i suppose okay. he's just hiding wounds that are now bleeding yeah, but okay. i was like what but then you were like better go i was like i'm confused um yeah. okay i guess bar will stop at the sight of blood because why wouldn't she um Still hold on. She keeps a, a hold on him. Like can't let you go. Um, and we'll take a look around and try and figure out where the blood is coming from. Or yeah, yeah like from, from from what, who, when, where, why. 
uh, it seems to have been coming from this, like, up this alley. Um, it starts basically right outside the alley and ends about part way down the alley. What do I find part way down the alley? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Do I find, like... Stops? It yeah, is it... stops. Oh. There's no trace of a body. Nothing. Yeah, no, no it like, doesn't... pool. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it like a pool at the end? Like, it got left it's... here or something and it's been taken away? Or it's literally a, like a... There's a small pool, but it's not like somebody was there for a long time. There has been a minute. Oh, I was, yeah, okay, so does it... Oh, that was gonna be my follow-up question. was like, how fresh does it seem? Um, Very. And if I look around this alley, there's nobody here but me and stupid. Nobody there. Who doesn't even notice that now his clothes are soaked? Yeah. Nope. Um. He's just like, where are we going? Well, listen, I got him here already, so I will take one trump out of him. Um, <laughs> I will at least get dinner. <laughs> um, but... Uh, and then I will just sort of like, as soon as she's done, she'll just sort of like push him in the direction of the exit of the alley. <laughs> so he just like off he goes. Sure. No, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't have my glaive, but I still have a halberd, so <laughs> they're just effectively like the same shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> they're so identical. Um, they're literally identical, yeah. Yep. Just shaped differently, I think, is the only difference. Yeah, uh, it's, it's literally just a cosmetic difference. They yeah, have which is the identical so same stats. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how dark is it? Like, what's like the light situation in like high it golf? It would be. It's dimly lit outside, but the alley would be dark. Okay. Do I don't actually know. Does the right give off light? I don't think it ever does. It specify. It does not. Which is so weird. Come on, man! I'm fucking lighting. It's lightning. How does that not give me illumination? <laughs> um. Well. It does, but I'll... on strobe light. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes it worse because you're. It's immediate bright light, then immediately dark light. So you right, don't have time to adjust. Yeah. Um, it's like, oh god, fuck. Bro, like, I'll, she'll kneel down. Um, and she'll, like, take a little bit of the blood on her finger, and oh. <laughs> what else? <laughs> well, give it a taste. Alright. It, uh, I'm trying to think. It, it's definitely not something you've tasted before. At least so to it... my knowledge. I don't, I don't think you've ever, no, you haven't. No, probably not. Um, if you can't remember it, then I probably yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's very okay. Specific, so. Okay. Um. Well. I mean, hell, if somebody died here, then <laughs> that's that's not great, right? Can I try and <laughs> vibe check this alleyway? <laughs> sure. Uh, history, 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 history. Oh, my sheet is frozen. Hang on. Oh, uh, 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 what are you doing? Mm. Oh my god, it's just I was scrolling non stop on my scroll wheel and now my sheet is just going Freaking up and down. <laughs> okay, it stopped. History 22. All right, um. You get the feeling that a violent act has occurred here at least once. Oh wow, so helpful. <laughs> hmm. Um. Is there nothing up like I don't know how narrow this alley is, but is there? There's nothing like up in the alley walls. Like the blood is literally only on the ground. Make a perception check. Since I'm actively like searching, can it be investigation or does it have to be perception? Um, I am investigating this. I'm not like 
<laughs> Will it help if I light a torch to aid my investigation? <laughs> yes, actually, it would. Alright, I will light a torch. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you light a torch, something attacks you from that the other end of the alley. <laughs> it could. <laughs> yeah, it could. Suddenly, out of the darkness. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you you light a torch. Um, you can make an investigation check. Twenty-six. All right. Yeah, up on the walls of the alley, higher up where you could not see before, uh, you do see more blood. Uh, it appears to be more splattered up higher. So it doesn't look like something was dragged up. It does not look like anything was dragged up. It looks like something like, was in the air and got hit by something, and that's what caused the splatter. But they never hit the ground. I'm so confused. So, never hit the ground, but trail of blood from on the ground that looks like something was dragged? Or does yep. it, is it more like... It, so it does... Or it could be that... Given your investigation, it could be that they were in the alley, which maybe jumping across the rooftops, got hit okay. in air, and then got forcefully launched down that path. So the blood trickled across, and then they ended up somewhere beyond where you were. Oh, okay. So the blood effectively, it's not so much, it's not the blood leading into the alley, the blood is leading out of the alley. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Okay, listen, I am very tired, alright? My brain is working overtime <laughs> to, to do this. It, it wasn't very <laughs> obvious when you first were the, <laughs> the bard through it, so... Yeah. Um, I guess we'll turn around and go back out. How high are the buildings of that I'm like that are on either side of me, by the way? Uh, here, they're about 20 feet. These are two-story buildings. Um... Does it look like there's any place nearby that I could climb up onto the one where whoever was getting chased or whatever was getting chased would have been, like, coming from? It doesn't look like there's an obvious okay. way to climb it, but you probably could if you were skilled enough. So if you want to make an athletics check to climb the building, you can. Okay. Um... Well, would this have been within a minute of me chomping on Homeboy? Not at this point. Damn, okay. Well, then it's just normal. Uh, okay, here we go. I will give it a try. Plus six, I believe in you. Believe in yourself, Tori. Believe in the you that believes in the you. Didn't believe hard enough. <laughs> yeah, it's more, di more difficult than you initially thought. It's like, uh, man, Darkalian makes this look so easy. <laughs> yeah. You get up, you get about halfway up, and then you're like, how the fuck do I get up from here? And you just kind of sit there. Down. Yeah. Alright. Okay, then so I will leave the alley then, and I'll take a look at the outside of the alley, since I didn't actually, wasn't paying any attention when I originally walked in here. Because I thought I was just going to get his neck. And right. look and see if blood leads anywhere, or does it just dead stop at the entrance of the alley? Uh, it does continue. Oh! You can you can follow it. It is a straight line, so you would follow it down. Uh, <clears throat> it kind of goes down part of the slope, and then you find a corpse. Oh, nice! Yeah, hmm. hidden away in some of the larger grass area, uh, just outside of like the actual walking path surrounding High Gulf. Um, can I, like, drag the body out of the grass to get a better look at it? Uh, you'd have to put your torch down. Sure. I mean, I don't imagine it just puffs out, so I'll just put it down. <laughs> Alright. Hey, you put it down into a in an area where it's not gonna catch everything on fire. That too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other part uh, of that. Yes, I put it down somewhere safe. I have fire. I'm not an idiot. I know fire is. <laughs> uh, you 
pull on the corpse, it is rather heavy as you pull out the uh, still warm corpse of a dragonborn. What color is this dragonborn? Uh, this is a white dragonborn. Oh! Oh. You're right, I haven't tromped on Dragonborn before. <laughs> I was right that a murder has taken place. <laughs> I, that 22 um, history check kind of told as such. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not like a, a historical event, so it's just, yeah, you get the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just things that are like, it's it's like... It's weird. It's like the secret surrounding relics or places touched by evil. And it's like, it's it makes you roll history, but it's just odd. Yeah. It doesn't have to be historical, just you can learn the sinister or tragic history of something. Yep. Do corpses count as objects? <laughs> yes. Can I try again on the corpse? Yeah. Um, sort of using what I... Oh, this could go poorly. Oh, hang on. Before I do this, I've... I'm slowly learning. I'm going to look around and see if there's anybody nearby. <laughs> Make a perception check. As this is like a walking path-ish area. Hmm. Ooh. You it's... see nobody. Free and clear. All right. Um, but... Okay. I... Ooh. <laughs> yeah. This will be fine. It's going to be totally fine. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to sort of... Um... In the similar fashion with what I did for uh, Alma... Um, and hoping it'll help a little bit, no. I will, yeah, take, I will, like, a briar will bite on the wrist of the dragonborn, or at least the fleshiest part <laughs> she can find, um, and then hope, and, and then, and then, and then vibe, vibe check the body. Okay. Yeah. Because blood is the best part. Um, hit three. 28. All right. Damn. Um. Yeah, the the, uh, the aura surrounding this individual state that something recently has happened to it that would be considered an act of evil. <laughs> it was murdered. You're so troll. <laughs> You're so troll. I'm just, I'm just telling you what it would do. Gosh, this is why we don't ask you questions, because we don't yeah. get answers. I like... No, yeah, it's like, oh, it could have been. Like, yeah, no shit. Like, like, one off of a... Fucking natural twenty. Yeah, you give me murder. Well, yeah. You're the worst. Yeah. See, guys, yeah, exactly. you, you just have to roll. You just have to roll thirties like I do, and then Josh will give you whatever. I would you want. be. I would be at a twenty nine on a natural twenty. <laughs> a twenty nine. I, I mean, yeah, but nat twenties also don't necessarily guarantee anything. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not saying I'm gonna get yeah. like, the most prolific vision of my life, but you know, yeah. maybe more than. Hey, look, this person was murdered. Like, yeah, thanks, God, I got that. Uh, <laughs> how? Visions. It's, that's, you know. Sometimes it's just feeling. The feeling of murder, yes, thanks. Yeah. Like, there's no other evil acts that have surrounded this individual. It's just, they were murdered. You know, it wasn't an accident. Fair. Well, the... Um, the uh, the, the gashing wound in the side is kind of the prolific, like, yep, they were stabbed. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> I I would say with your... With the investigation and the history check, you could piece together that this person was jumping across the alley, they were hit by a sharp object, and launched about 20 feet. Uh, oh. basically, like, careening over the walking path, landing in the brush area, and skidding a few extra feet before coming to a halt. And then just never got back up. Yeah. Wonderful. See, so I don't if, need a if, prolific if the, vision uh, every time. <laughs> if, if, if the wound from, or if, if the stab didn't kill it in air, uh, the blood force trauma definitely did. I was going to say, it would have Briar, fallen about 25 feet. Briar taps into anything she can remember from Edward. Spending, from Edward. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, brain. <laughs> and we'll sort of, yeah, like, use that to help piece together the wound situation. Yeah. Edward was good at medicine. 
<laughs> I miss Edward right now. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> it starts crying, Edward. <laughs> Go oh my back. God. <laughs> I'm joking. Um. Uh, does this? Do they have like anything on them? Anything no, actually, notable? They don't. Just... anything that they would have had is gone. They're just wearing a regular set of clothes. They have no weaponry. Oh, it's a female or a male dragonborn? There's male. Okay. Oh, it's the heavy pull. I guess female dragonborn would be heavy too. Um, yeah. yeah. Often just as heavy. Yeah. Chunky. Yeah, dragonborn kind of as a monolith tend to be pretty big. True. Um, well. Huh. It looks back at the bar like, damn it, K2's way too drunk to help me. <laughs> Says you. Says the booze. <laughs> and the, and the, sorry, not the keg, the jet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Listen, K2 is always operating at a certain level of inebriated. It's <laughs> <laughs> fair. It's the secret cap, I'm always drunk. Um... <laughs> Pocket flask. But I'll go back up towards uh, the main road away from the. All right, as you uh, begin to leave the corpse. Yeah. Okay. I uh, need you to make a strength saving throw. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I don't why? Know. Why? 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 Man, what the fuck? Yeah, as you again? Uh, as you stand up and turn away, you feel all of the muscles in your body tense up. As you're lifted into the air. And then emerging from the bush nearby, from the grass, is the copper dragonborn. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> e ooh. I don't know. Um, am I like done? Like what what is this? Am I like paralyzed? You, you are is... restrained. Ten Man. feet off the ground. Man, strong grip. It's not holding her. Oh. So I am, it's just like, it's just like a spell. In air. It yeah. is a spell. Okay. Um, well, you know... You know... Uh... uh <laughs> I go sing uh, great for prior. It's really... <laughs> She thinks she's like, man, Rama really hyped this place up, and I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> yeah, this place must be great for Rama. It fucking sucks for me. Yeah, um... Impromptu therapy session with the king where I had to realize all of my emotions, and I didn't like that. And then this shit? Like, <laughs> fuck, man. As soon as she can, like, see the, uh, the dragonborn, um, I guess I'll try and pierce mind him, too. <laughs> all I'm right. only restrained, so... You, uh, you attempt to pierce mind him, and it has zero effect. Oh. Like, I can't... Hang on. He, yep. It just fizzles? Does not work. Yep. Or it's he just automatically succeeds to save. Okay, it just doesn't it, work it, at all? It just does not work. Okay. Yeah, you Are don't even need to clarify for the damage. Yeah. Um, alright. Are we fighting Dragonborn Batman? <laughs> yes. Um. If you orient the scimitars the right way, they kind of look like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Briar just sort of like just like snaps her teeth like what do you want? <laughs> Why are you snooping around? Well, I mean she sort of her head kind of gestures as much as it can towards like the <laughs> the dead dragonborn like we both picked the same alley. I was curious. You should be more careful wandering alone at night. Thanks, Dad. He just like 
cocks his head slightly. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you gonna let me go? <laughs> Be on your way. And he flicks his wrist and you just go flying. Oh, yay. <laughs> You don't you don't take any damage, but you just kind of like waft through the air <laughs> about thirty feet before just like slowly descending to the ground and landing. Um, if I look over where the dragonborn was, are they still there, or no. they just woof vamoosed? Gone. Gone. If I go sneak a peek, is the body still there? Yeah. Oh. It's like goes back to the same spot she was at. <laughs> like, <laughs> just like, huh? <laughs> and she's like, okay. <laughs> and just like, take a look around again. Like, hey God, all right. Grabs the dragon forward by the feet, the dead one, and starts pulling. <laughs> okay, where are you pulling him to? Away from the spooky grassy area. Uh, and closer to, like, the main road area, which is gonna look so sus, but, oh, isn't uh, it? Mm -hmm. I don't want to just leave it here in case the body disappears. I don't want the body to disappear. So, um, she'll sort of, as she's, like, pulling, kind of, like, look over her shoulder, because, like, as she pulls backwards, to, like, for the first sign of somebody else, and just be like, hey, I need some help! <laughs> Fucking heavy ass dragonborn. Yeah. Uh, also murder. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'd say that you would. One of the random like dock workers would be coming out of the tavern at this time, and just like rushes over to you. It's like, what the fuck happened? You just like give him a really. If since he just came out of the tavern, she'll be like, I need you to go back inside, and <laughs> I need you to go get me Rava. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I, I got it. She's I, like, I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> he just like runs back in and is like, Where's Rava? Rava confused me. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, that's what I thought too! <laughs> <laughs> you, you follow this drunken dock worker out of the tavern, and he just like, like, sh sh points over at Briar. Who like, is? She needed you. Goodbye. Briar got far enough, and she, she's kind of just like, <laughs> she stopped pulling and just sort of like leaned over a little bit, like, <laughs> from dragging this dragonborn. K2 would also go because uh, he realizes that Rava, the the last person that he knows at the bar, is leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here with all these weirdos. I guess you guys would walk up on uh, on Briar and a corpse. Again? <laughs> she puts her, before they even speak, she like puts her hand up like at a stop, and she's like... Wasn't me. <laughs> are you handcuffed to it? Why are you dragging it around? Well, it was over in the bushes, and I didn't want it to, you know, disappear. What? what? Okay, that sounds weird, <laughs> but I didn't. Because what if I said, oh, it was a murder, and then we go over there, and then there's no body, and then I, you know, but then there's blood, and then it, what? <laughs> One me. Uh, you guys, at, at this point, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the traveling bard would be walking past you guys, and he's just covered in blood and dirt. He's just, like, still in, like, a drunken stupor. Just, like, walk <laughs> past, like, he's like, hey, guys. <laughs> and just keeps going. Whoa. She the bard, and she's like, that one was me. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it. Um... Yeah, no, I went into that alley, there was blood before I got there, um, followed said blood, led me over there, points in the direction of the walking path in the grass, found this, 
Um, and then that coppery fellow that we saw earlier um, held me up in the air and then uh, flung me back and then disappeared. <laughs> then told me, fuck off. Yeah, he told me to mind my own business, uh, and I proceeded to not. So, <laughs> here we are. Is the drunk guy still there? No, he he left. He pretty much <laughs> fucked off as soon as, like, okay, you're good, bye. So yeah. you you followed a blood trail to an alley to find the copper dragonborn and this dead guy. No, 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 no. Went into the alley for, points at the bard, other reasons. <laughs> There was already blood in the alley. Right. Then I followed the blood over there, points to the grass, where I found this body that I have now dragged here, and the copper dragonborn was also over there in the grass. And is now no longer in the grass. And is okay. no longer alive. <laughs> Told me, mind my own business, don't go walking alone at night, and then let me go. It was very strange. Also, no... I couldn't get a grasp on any of their... anything going on in their head, which was really strange. That's only ever happened to me something similar once, which was back when we were in um, Cardinals, and there was that one guy who just had no thoughts. So... The guy in Cardinals. You're too drunk for that. Okay, ignore all that part. Focus on the now. <laughs> oh, did you try to do it to Tom Eric? Merrick. No, no. There was a no. there was that one dude who was like, we were coming back in, and he was getting into like a scuffle or whatever at the entrance, and oh. I, it was the dude in the fancy armor. Um, and yeah, I yeah. tried to tap into his brain, and, and Josh nothing. was like, yeah, "There's nothing there for you to look at. There's just nothing That's there." Right. And I was like, "Nani." That's right. Okay. Yeah. But this oh, was yeah. different because that was just there is nothing there. This was you're just not allowed in. So similar ish, but not identical situations. All right. Kind of real talk. Don't know what to do in this situation. So it's just kind of like, what the fuck? Well, I mean, we should tell someone, right? I, I, I go tell Greg that. Need the guards to actually come to boot the job for once. <laughs> Greg, need guards, Ben murder. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. But you know. You know. A little bit better words? Yeah. I mean, murder doesn't happen too often in High Go. <laughs> I hope not. If at all. Anyways. We wait for the guards. <laughs> All right, yeah. Greg would summon the guards. I and... I press the digitate any blood off of Briar so it doesn't look like she killed him. Okay. <laughs> Wise. Hey, buddy. And they'd uh, be say probably like half a dozen guards come running over. Uh, they question all of you as to what happened. I'm assuming none of you lie. I give them the version that doesn't involve me taking a chomp out of the bard, but other than that... Uh, I talk way too long about <laughs> how I got everybody drunk in the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 K2 gives such meandering testimony that it's immediately just like, he knows nothing. Yeah, <laughs> like, okay. So you're just Rob here, just good like, to know. I was, I know this place, so she called me, she found, I don't know. All right, yeah, they, uh, they section off the body right there, and then also the alleyway that it took place in all the way out to the bush, uh, or the brush, sorry, it's not a bush, it's a brush. Uh, they just kind of do a large area in the brush because they're not sure how big exactly they need to make it, so they just guesstimate. And they say, yep, no entering over here. So effectively, this whole <laughs> sidewalk area is... Caution under... tape. Yeah. Because you can't go around it, because then you go into the brush. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they just send you on your way as they begin investigating. I 
that's a good point to go the fuck home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We grab K2 and... <laughs> yeah, the party's over when a dead body shows up. <laughs> <laughs> That, like it happens often. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, Edward always had a dead body on him. <laughs> and yeah. that's why he never wanted the party. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he was saving it for, specifically for it. Just, alright, there's a corpse, everyone fuck off. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we head back to Rava's place. For, for sleep. All right. Uh, uh, this time, instead of just going straight to bed like she normally would, she go to like where the stairway starts for like upstairs. And just there was a dead body found. It wasn't any of us. Love you, night. Don't think too much about it. Nope. Nope. All right, uh, is group number two doing anything the rest of the evening? I don't have anything, no. No. I'm completely planned. Hang out with uh, Salvix and Theo for a bit and then head back to his uh, roof, little trade ship that he's renting. <laughs> all right, so uh, no. So no, okay. You all gain the benefits of a long rest. Yay! Ooh. And you wake up in the morning. I assume half of you go to work on the docks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Money, yep. please. Money, please. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the smoothie bar. <laughs> yeah. Listen, that's Pretty. the only thing that probably feels fucking great right now, eating. Fair. Oh, yeah. Like... <laughs> Checking with K2 while he's on the work. Like, how did things go last night? You mean after you threw up and sulked in the corner? I was not sulking. <laughs> Versing. Just telling Thale how to read a room. Who's Thale? An asshole! <laughs> Points out the fucking... brooding... Uh, Shatterkai that been just been hanging around with. Oh, that guy! I've seen him around the docks. He just stares at everybody. He... I've I... they cut to they all currently <laughs> staring someone down. <laughs> <laughs> some yeah, 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 just some, some dock worker <laughs> who's who's just carrying and just. Just stare, <laughs> just the intense stare, and the dock worker yeah. just like slowly cringing away, like. Fuck did I do? Why? <laughs> He's like whisper that don't break any rules. He's uh I'm not going to. Jesus. Go I, brought, I brought him on to work security. He needs to relax a little bit, honestly. Other than that, uh... we hire security. <laughs> Robert just kind of laughs. No, oh, you look for work, and he's big, intimidating. Carries a couple swords. <laughs> In any case. <laughs> yeah, Sentinel appears and Rava just immediately stops listening to Kasam and just. Bear. I'll bear. <laughs> <laughs> Friend. In any case, wanted to follow up, see how things went. I don't think it's the docks that need security. How so? Well, after you guys left, someone was moited. That, that doesn't happen too often. Not gonna lie. Oh. You sort of have a very low murder rate, so that's, uh... <laughs> well, it just got <laughs> higher. <laughs> uh, you guys would notice, too, that the, the king did, was not on the docks this morning. Oh, fuck. Yeah. He has to do his physical job now. Yeah. God damn it, someone committed a crime. Fuck. Yikes. Well, yeah. that, that changes things. 
Yeah, so maybe less dock patrol, more street patrol, Mr. Security Man. Look, I, I, I work the docks because they pay me. Rest of the rest of the city's guards, probably. <laughs> yeah, all six guards. <laughs> that you happen to know who it was? Just curious. Well, do you, do you remember at all? I mean, you got any well, I, I wasn't there. But I did happen to hear the eyewitness testimony. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember. What do you mean? I remember everything. Note it. Internally, I pre press X to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's, what's what's the gossip you got going then? Well, I heard that the uh, the killer might have been a certain copper dragonborn that was huh. seen in the area prior to the murder. That's interesting. I have interesting information about that copper dragonborn. <laughs> oh. Well, then maybe you should <laughs> fucking tell somebody. Let's just say you're, uh. Let's just say Briar's, uh. staring, uh. I don't know, associate that she was, uh, your friend's uh, staring associate that you were, uh, hanging out with? What? Yeah, she, your, uh, your associate that was staring down my potential employer, he had some very interesting information. Oh, so it's not your information. It's his information. Yeah. Well, then maybe you should go talk to your potential employer, find out what he knows, tell me, and then I'll take it from there. Maybe my well, information and your information <laughs> should get together, and... <laughs> well, I already have it. Would you oh. like to know it? <laughs> yes. Why Why are you speaking in riddles? <laughs> All right, fine. this a lot harder than it needs to be. <laughs> All right, so... Sad. I sort of uh, bring I... him around behind Sentinel so that there's a little bit more of a privacy curtain between us. So, what, 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 for the record, <laughs> would I have heard I... any of this, like at him say any of this prior to that? Because I'm pretty sure I would at least have something to say about it if I did. No, because why? Why are all the security in one spot? That would be yeah. Like, that's no a bad sense. idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was close enough for him to point me out. Yeah, it's a big, big you, open area. You, you strike a peculiar yards, figure. Close enough to point somebody out. Yeah, you're also just like uh, you know, I... not a triton in a city of a lot of tritons. <laughs> so I, I also ask because due to certain a, a variety number of things, I am more perceptive than most. Oh, what? A character that Joshua plays has a ridiculously <laughs> high pass perception? Who would have guessed? There's a lot going <laughs> on on this dock. Oh, boo -hoo. <laughs> Also, this, it's not like this dock is quiet. It's a dock. Like... <laughs> yeah, there's lots of shouting and oh, uh, so sound, shouting. Especially sound today. Moving. Yeah. <laughs> Given that there's been a murder. Yeah, they're like, yeah. who do you think that guy was? Who do you think did it? I uh I I do I do my best impression of a uh law and order witness who's just constantly stacking crates back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. While he's working mid interrogation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, this sounds serious. Let me continue stacking these crates of fish. It's like, ah, well, the, a murder is serious. 
But I've still got ten more stops to make for these deliveries. <laughs> I'm on the clock, bitch. Yeah. Basically, p p bring fucking K2 behind Sentinel for a hot second and be like, okay. At least, not directly seen, no. I feel like this was more covert when I was doing my job and it just looked like we were in the same area. Now it looks like we're actually hiding from someone. <laughs> well, apparently. My so I know at this me. point just like sprawls out and, and just like belly flaps out of the ground. So now you guys are just like the top of your heads are seen over the top of it. Uh, I cast minor illusion so that I look like a crate. It's <laughs> <laughs> a, a very tall crate. <laughs> uh, or, or is it just like it was just like your shoulders and above? So it's just like. I, ju I, I just hunched down so I fit inside the five foot square. No, there you go. I, I, I just had the mental image of what um, what Kassan would be seeing is just like from feet to like shoulders is like K2, and then from shoulders up it's just a box. <laughs> yeah. yeah, effectively it would be like, so what well, my guy told me is uh, apparently our, our, your copper friend. That you mentioned is uh, apparently rather important to, to Sarnath. All right. We're talking like secret police kind of important. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> We're talking like secret prison under Sarnath kind of important. Secret prison, you say? Secret <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately just... <laughs> Apparently, he's like one of the nine guys who's in charge. They only have nine of them? I assume it was nine, right? I, I, I didn't mishear a number? No, you heard correct. Yeah, it was like nine. All right, seems a bit limiting, but whatever. Yeah, maybe it's like a culture thing. I don't know. N neutral, neutral force apparently. Like he neither has ties to Sarnath or us. He's a. Wait, he's a mercenary, but he's also secret police. Ah, it's fucking weird. How do you have a secret police with no <laughs> allegiance to anyone? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not questioning it. Basically, it's like they, they're hired, like mercenaries, but like they run the prison. That's apparently a secret. They run the prison. Yet he's in high golf. Yeah, he's here, which is weird. Which is what struck me as weird. That is very strange. Now that there's been apparently a murder, that it, that makes this even weirder, personally. Well, I didn't even say the interesting part mm. is that the murder victim was another dragonborn. So now clearly, this is some ter man. This is interesting all the way down. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, there's a little trouble in. Fascist paris paradise. <laughs> I thought you were about to say there's some big trouble of little Sardis. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good one. <sighs> big trouble, <for> little Sardis. <clears throat> I uh, I would be very interested to speak with your potential employer, as you put it. Oh. Uh, we'll probably see about arranging a meeting. Given that he might have... What's your interest in him? There's been a murder and he wants information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a pretty ob obvious motive there. Ugh. Let's just say, you had my attention, but now you have my curiosity. 
Well. It's good to know. It, there's just increase, incre there's increasing confused facial expressions from Kasam as he's like staring at the crate. <laughs> and the crate stares back at you. Because because this, this illusion is not one way. I am looking at the inside of a crate right now. <laughs> you stare at the crate, and the crate stares back at you. The crate is made purely of the abyss. Huh. Yeah, it's just like one of those little eye holes in the side of the crate. <laughs> poke it out. <laughs> Well, one thing's for sure is there's apparently some interesting prisoners, from what I heard. Oh, now we're talking about the prison. Okay. Yeah, I, f I figured. Yeah. So he he's talked openly about this secret prison thing. Well, apparently he was a former uh, inmate. So he... Interesting. Yeah. Did he mention how he got out? Kassam, get back to work. Stop talking to the crates. <laughs> another time, another time. All right, we'll, we'll talk again later, I guess. All right. Uh, flawlessly, I uh, stand up as if I'm picking up the crate that is not there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just walk away with the illusion crate. <laughs> Hop on the back of Sandal for a hot second and let him do the walking. Sentinel, like, begrudgingly gets up and begins moving again. <laughs> you gotta stay active, man. Just because you got leathery wings does not mean you can fucking slack off. His wings? He yes, knew. he has he has visibly red leathery wings. What the fuck? They're probably just like very flush to his body. <laughs> this is the owl bear you're talking about, right? Yes. yes. What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> it's creepy, ain't it? It was already a hybrid, and you added more. <laughs> so I think I think that takes it from hybrid to chimera at that point. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. I mean, what was wrong with having a chimera? They're pretty cool. <laughs> All right, but if it starts talking to me about its big brother, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, that's where I draw the line. No, it's just gonna start whispering terrible secrets about your life to you. Mm. Oh, that's I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but they do actual damage. Uh, you didn't spend all the money in your flex account before the calendar <laughs> year ended. <laughs> <laughs> You were one point off of an A plus, and you failed. <laughs> God, that's a hard grade curve. Hundred percent or nothing. <laughs> eight years yeah, ago, last. eight years ago, you made eye contact with someone on the other side of a bus. <laughs> they were totally into you. <laughs> you never said anything. <laughs> you never acknowledged it because you weren't even thinking about it. Yeah. Don't Get you feel silly? Work. You should. Get back to work, but now note that I'll have to talk to Selvix about a very interesting individual who would like to arrange a meeting with him. All right. The rest of your work day goes off with no issues. You guys... I'm assuming return to the weathered ship. I would swing by a store and pick up some beeswax, but other than that, that's about it. Beeswax? How much beeswax? Uh, the whole just bees like... worth? <laughs> no. <laughs> just like a pint or so. Um, I need to go, because I really need to sleep, so I'm yeah. very, very tired, I gotta get okay. up early for work, but, uh, yeah, have good night, have don't good die night. anyone, and, uh, good night, Tori. I will watch the, the, the end of this, please don't All die, right. please nobody die. Um, I will let you know before you leave. 
uh. that the uh, Greg would give you a, uh, a pouch full of money when you get there. He just gives me money? Yep, he says, hey, somebody drop this off for you and hands you a pouch full of money. How much money? 400 gold. <laughs> That's some hush money. Bear's like, is this hush money? But I wasn't hush. Or is this from the- What dragonborn is this from? <laughs> <laughs> you don't too know. many dragon- There's too many dragonborn in my life now. <laughs> 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 I somehow went from zero to a hundred dragonborn in the span of like a day. <laughs> we'll just go with Ryan's. We'll do it that way. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. so funny. It's amazing what happens when you spend more time on the coast. I know, right? <laughs> Kiki Media doesn't like this at all. <laughs> that's down to Greg's discretion if he chooses to share or not. Greg has no idea. Fair. Yeah, no, I she, she I don't think she'd ask anyway, she sort of just takes it cautiously and <laughs> pockets it. Like, well at least I can buy my potion now. <laughs> 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 and then we'll go back with K2 and Rava. Alright. No. Now you can I, go to bed. Italian, so. I also would pick up some stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd say the uh, the beeswax it would cost you two silver. Uh, mm -hmm. I I would like uh t if there's any like shards of onyx, I would like that. Shards of onyx. Yeah. Uh, how big of shards are you looking for? Uh, it doesn't have to be anything like specific. Okay. It just like, uh, um, like it's a well, material component. It literally just says shard of onyx. It doesn't say it's like a size or value or anything. Okay. Um, try and roll a d100. Okay. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Okay. Uh. It's a tricky part because onyx is technically incredibly rare for this mm -hmm. continent. Right. Um, so I, I'd say you would find, you would find some. Um, it would be small shards. I'd say it'd probably cost you fifty gold. Hmm. For like how many? For, we'll say five, five shards. So ten gold a piece. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll just take that out of my wages for the day. Okay. Yeah, you'd be done already, so yeah. 80 yeah. Mm -hmm. gold, so 30 remaining. And then same for the others of you. Yep. Minus the security, 72 and 64. Yep. Briar's gonna do her shopping next week. Anybody else doing shopping before bar? Nope. I'm gonna head home and work on the mask a little bit more, and then I will meet at the bar after about an hour or so. Cause mm -hmm. yay! Yeah, <laughs> it's done. Nope. Also, Rob's gonna be like, "Dark Kelly, come drink with us. I want to drink with you." Soon. I will be there so, in about. Give me like yay. an hour. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Gremlin energy. <laughs> Alright. Go to the guys, bar. Yeah, you head to the weathered ship. Um, you would notice that the um, typical crowd tonight is significantly smaller as people are afraid to go out this mm -hmm. evening. What? We're just at the bar right next to where a guy died. What's that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the two dragonborn that normally sit in the booth are also not present. Uh, Thale and Kassam, it's up to you if you are present or not. I'll be there. Uh, yeah, I would be.
Yeah, it's a, it's a much quieter night. Uh, there is somebody there to kind of make up for the wall that's playing music up on the stage. So there's at least the perception of being busier than it is. Is it the is it the bard? No, no. Good. They actually have good taste. <laughs> yeah. That and Rava made it very hard for him to play anything. Yep. <laughs> You're missing a few fingers. Just a few. Yeah. Who, who's the musician? Oh, it's just one of the locals. Just playing. I'd, I'd say right now it's somebody playing the harp. So it's soothing music. Man, woman? Woman. Interested. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> woman. K2. Human. I'm not picky. Slightly less interested, but still interested. I, I'm not. I'm not like Briar, where it's like, you human. <laughs> that would be very chair. confusing. She's sitting mm -hmm. in her chair right now, watching this, saying, "How dare!" <laughs> Time to fail. You think? Uh, you think he's at the ship? Potentially. I don't know what else he would be. That's fair. You can certainly check. <laughs> K2 is just uh, sitting there, uh, with, uh, like kind of leaning forward on his hands, watching the harpist, uh, as if she's playing specifically for him. <laughs> <laughs> Mesmerized. <laughs> Gross. Uh, did you hear about the, uh, the incident in question? Yes. Alright. Anything anybody wants to discuss or do? I'll probably uh check on K2 to see if he would be down for a meeting tonight. All things considered. And uh, the harp player before he's like, oh, hey. Visibly <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck off, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as how our dragonborn friend is not currently here, I do know where he's staying if you'd like to come meet. I was going to check on him anyway. He agreed to a meeting? That was fast. Well, I'm going to go check on him seeing as though he's not here, but I know where he's at. Wait, did you say your friend's a dragonborn? Yeah. I mentioned this earlier. Hell, you didn't. You said your you said your employer, your potential employer. Yeah, you didn't mention he was a dragonborn. Was the friend was was the, was the guy your friend was staring at all night last night? Oh, that's what you meant by that. Yeah. That was a so that was worded so weirdly. I had no idea what the hell you were talking that's right. about. That's right. <laughs> that's right. He likes his privacy. All right. I figured I'd check on him, make sure he hasn't like skipped town or anything. <laughs> I look over at Briar, and he's like, "Hmm, should I bring her?" Yeah, he bought a string, so that's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, uh, "Is Darkali in there yet?" Not yet. Um, hasn't been an hour yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll say, uh, I'm waiting for another friend, but once he gets here, then we can all go meet your employer. All right. Mm. 
Alright. In that case, uh, mind if I sit down? <laughs> I look over at the other two. I'm guessing Br Briar is just glaring again. Uh, I don't oh, think Bri I don't think Briar had a problem with Kassam. No, oh, she's just glaring at everybody. I think I think Briar he is Briar. just a little weirded out when he kept on following them around. Yeah, <laughs> it was weird. It was yeah. weird. It was very weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, to bring attention, I will buy the, the next round of drinks. There you go. That's always <laughs> dark. Dark. Buy us booze. Welcome. Grab a seat. Like. Free booze. I don't know how pleasant a company I will be, though. I am quite taken with this harpist. <laughs> I mean, fair. Um, she was impressed with her manual dexterity. She's got talented fingers, all right? <laughs> That's what I was trying to say without being so obvious about it, Mike. <laughs> so, how, how long um, of a wait for... Darkalian would it be um, because they all not well yeah I, I guess I didn't know how far into the hour it had been because he said it hadn't been an hour so I didn't know if we were like right at the start of that still I'd um, say by now it's been like half an hour everybody's kind of okay. settled in and gotten their first round of drinks alright yeah, so you been about 35 minutes alright so what I was going to say is I don't know how long it would take me to do this, but I would offer to go and get Salvix and bring him here if you guys have to wait for your ally in the meantime anyway. Since, you know, you, you, know, you all seem pretty comfortable <laughs> looking at K2. I mean, if you want um, to check on him, that'd be great. Hmm. The discussion I want to have with him, I prefer not to have in the middle of... Uh... Relatively quiet bar. That's fair. That is fair. Do you want to let me go check on him and then we meet you there? Mm. Yes. I must acquire dinner for my daughter. So you see her just kind of come out of nowhere from underneath, like his, uh, like kind of cowl. She just <laughs> pops up. She's like I want chicken. <laughs> I don't know that was where that was going. <laughs> I want chicken nuggies. No child is just solid. No good choice. Like I'm off to a quiet chicken. When when you say she pops out of your cowl, like the pouch of your cowl on like your back, or do you have your cowl up and she like peeks around the side of your head? <laughs> I'm assuming on the uh, back because she's like a preteen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I I don't know. Yeah, like, fair. Kind of what <laughs> subspace portal shit going on here? Fair question. Yeah, yeah, I know. She kind yeah. of just seems to like. Emerge from the shadows. I mean, I I'm not very perceptive. I just I just like <laughs> oh I just didn't notice her. Right yeah. yeah yeah yeah. K2's not perceptive at the start. He's also very very taken with this harpist. I was I I am distracted. Yes. Yeah. Distracted like he heard her voice and like kind of like looked over to catch her in the periphery, but that was as much attention as he was willing to give. Anyway, off to chicken, and then <laughs> Salvix. All right, you uh, we're gonna go get chicken this late at night. That's <laughs> not <laughs> for murder it yourself. Hey, See. is there? Well, how late is it, first of all? Um, actually, it wouldn't be that late. Actually, yeah, think, we, think, thinking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah it, it would be like walk down the street to an HF. Good evening. Yeah. It'd be solid dinner time. Yeah, it'd be it'd be dinner time. Yeah, easy enough. HFC, goddamn it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Chicken. Yeah, I get it. See, see, I, I feel like high goal. It wouldn't be fried chicken. I feel like it would be like fried fish. <clears throat> well, some high goal fish chicken. Well, you, you, you know, it's less KFC, more like Long John Silver's. Mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 Long John no. Silver's. We don't do that. <laughs> it was the most immediate reference I had. Long Johns. Mm -hmm. Because that way, if Long Johns, if a werewolf bites me, it also hurts itself. <laughs> Anyway, chicken boat. Chicken boat. Yeah, you go get chicken. You go to the boat. Is Selvix on the boat? Yeah. Okay. I gotta make sure. I come bearing tidings of uh, forthcoming visitors and chicken. <laughs> forthcoming visitors. Yes. Um, to Sam, <sighs> taking it upon himself to <laughs> inform <laughs> one of the more interesting characters we met at the bar about our endeavors. I should, point, I, I should point out you also don't know the context of what we were you, talking about. All you know, you know is that we there's he wanted to set up a meeting. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think this is just they all assuming. Yeah, no, that that's yeah, that 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 I that's what I was going to say, and that's about all I had to say because I figured that's about all I would know. Yeah. I figured he would tell me that he wanted to set up this meeting, and maybe I didn't think he would necessarily tell me the specifics, but mm -hmm. at least tell me that it was happening. I just wanted mm -hmm. a meeting. Yeah, and I know that. Um, K2 is someone that we've seen both at the docks and met with at the bar, which is about what I said. Yeah. I suppose. It would be about the time that he gets there, too, that Darkalion, you would arrive at the weather ship. Alrighty. Native here, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. Lived here all my life. Uh, single mother. Tried to do it all herself. I know it's not the worst place for it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he meant he was a single mother. <laughs> I thought, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I was the only one. Say fuck. I'm saying, I'm glad I'm not look, the only one. Look, Thank maybe, you. Ma look, maybe Kasam is a single mother to his lovely son, Sentinel. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. That's beautiful, actually. Uh, visit her on occasion when I'm not uh, working the docks or uh, working on ships. Sailor by trade. Technically. <laughs> Take it, you. Uh, you from here? Sort of as. Uh, never quite got your name. Uh, or either of your names, for that matter. <laughs> Robert just kind of looks at him and is just like, Dude, how have we never fucking met? I'm Rava. Well, pleasure to meet you. I take it you're also from here? More or less. You, you say that, and then it hits you that most Tritons that live here are not originally from here. As a matter of fact, you have never met a Triton from High Gulf. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I live here part-time with my brother. 
Ah, okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah, the, uh... Head Silver Trader. My brother, which is why I'm very confused how we have never met before. Oh, uh, well... The, uh... I do... Hmm, how should I say it? I do more of the, uh... Privateering kind of work? If I'm going to put it honest. Because silver with attire speaks volumes to you. Mood. Yeah. She just kind of like looks out for a second and she's like, Hi, right, fair, and takes a drink. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, my companion, though he tends to look like he broods and doesn't know how to read a room. He is useful. What? Uh, I'm very confused on where this conversation went. I was just mentioning that uh, my companion who was talking to us earlier was that uh, he may be very blunt, but he's useful. Considering y'all will have to put up with him in a couple minutes. He means stay all. Yeah, stay all. I know, it's just one of those moments of I'm trying to connect the dots on the, how this conversation went from this to that. She's just like. I think it's uh, more of a how did we get to this topic sort of thing. It is. It definitely is. The classic Nestor topic switch. This mm -hmm. guy, he talks in the riddles. K2 not even necessarily paying attention to the conversation. Still watching the harpist, mm -hmm. just saying that as an offhanded comment. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, not awful, I guess. Yeah. I just want to make sure that there's no heated blood given the bidding war that happened. I, lo I look at, at Briar. Oh, that wasn't part and, of me. Yeah, and I think. I think I don't know about uh, tall, dark, and brooding, but I think it's the other one she's all right with. Okay. Noted. I just want to make sure that there's no dry, no, no daggers being drawn in this meeting. Oh, the, the, there's no promises of that. Like shit happens, but. Won't instantly go at someone's throat. Hopefully. I hate for sentinels to have to sit on somebody. <laughs> as long as they don't sit on the button. Button? Not the button. Not the gumdrop button. Mine. <laughs> Not the raindrop guns. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, which one of you are we waiting for? Specifically? That guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as yeah, yeah, walks in the door. He sees you guys and walks over. Oh, yeah, he is. That... Yeah. Have we met before? I can't remember. It's been a long way. Have we met before? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I've seen you on the dock a few times, but other than that, I don't think we've introduced. My name is Darkalian. Uh, uh, I think you know. I, th I think uh, Thale knows you? Yeah, I met Thale. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's. That's where I heard about you. You mentioned you seemed capable. Well, I try. Well, if you're if you're down, I'm gonna escort a uh, pale and white <laughs> over here down to the <laughs> white. Dude, I've been working on the docks for three days. You think I'm still pale? I yeah. Am. Oh wait. <laughs> Depends on how well you tan. Depends on how well you tan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if it's K two, probably extremely well. <laughs> Thanks. Um, either, either that or he is lobster red. There is no in between. 
I would I would say he pales decently. Like he's not like uh, one of those. That's nice. Pales decently. Pales decently. <laughs> God damn it! I'm tired. <laughs> pales easily, not pales I, I didn't easily. even I didn't even fucking realize what I said. Until the he tans time. decently. <laughs> He also uh, pales decently in the winter. <laughs> or when something steals most of his blood. Oof. I mean, wouldn't anybody? Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would say, unlike myself, he is not a pasty boy, and can tan when he wants to. Yeah. All right. It's just this was his dream. Make, make it whatever happened. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's not as pale as Edward, so that's a start. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Edward grew up in a forest. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. It's also just kind of his natural skin color, anyways. Yeah, I was going to array. I was going to bring a. Never got your name, uh, but him. Gestures to anyone else who would like to accompany a, to a meeting with a. With a friend of mine? Employer? I don't really have a. I feel like, I feel like Briar at this point would just be like, yeah, we're all going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I should probably introduce myself. My name is K two. As in the number or the le or the, or the word. <laughs> the word. The word two. Two spelled out. Just, just oh, one like one how it's K2. spelled. Ah. Uh... Technically, neither. There's no two in the actual, like, spelling of the name. It's just pronounced K2. Okay. K2. That's not like you said Katie, too. It just... <laughs> okay. Bless you. <laughs> okay. All right. We got Rava. K2. Darkalian. That's Briar. Hmm. Noted. Okay. Get it because she's thorny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking of the joke. I was not going to say it myself. I can say that because we're friends. Because <laughs> we're friends, and then an ale tanker bounces off. Can't you skulls? <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't even like flinch. It just says, yeah. Ow. <laughs> no, Darkalian would have caught it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ale tanker and Darkalian, not not even paying attention, just reflexively just catches. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> yeah. Deflect Mitchells! In that case, we can, uh, I guess, start making our way there. I'm gonna... Yeah, perhaps Sentinel hop off the roof, and then we can, uh... Walk... <laughs> God, that's <laughs> terrifying! Like, people walking in, they're just... And an owlbear is just there! Like, holy I mean, shit! It, it could be worse, it could be hiding in the rafters. That's true. That would, yeah, just look up and then just... Oh, that would require him to fit through the door. That's true. Yeah, I, I, don't will... have the, I don't have the resources right now to teleport him. On, a, on, a, on our way out... I'm going to uh, tip a couple couple co coins to the harpist. She happily takes them and gives you a smile. Do the do the tip and wink. Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that checks out. That's... Yeah. K two is charismatic charismatic enough to get away with that without it being like uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's kind of cute, rather than... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yep, so, uh... Bring K2 down to the ship. And everybody uh, else, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bring the group! Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, you, uh, as you're making your way down to the ship. Rava. Hi. With your very high passive perception, uh, you notice 
a trail of blood on the docks. Oh, no. It leads over to one of these stacks of crates. How high is her passive? I'm just curious. I physically fuck no idea. I like 20 or point. something? Mm. It's it's pretty high. Okay, because I'm just I was just curious. Mine's like 17, so. I know mine's a 20. Well, all three of you would notice. Oh, she okay. would just notice it first. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. 21. 21. Nice. It's because I took observant. <laughs> yeah, it's still damn nice. 13. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Jack of all trades. Yeah, that's the only thing saving him from having like an 11. Yep. That and slightly drunk, so. <laughs> um. Do you guys. Been another one. Ah, damn it. Another what? Murder. <laughs> blood. Oh god, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, there's blood everywhere immediately turns to Briar. <laughs> you, I'm standing in it. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to get that out of my shoes once oh. I the press digitation. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I was wondering why the floor was sticky. I thought it was just sea foam. <laughs> mm. Gross. Yes, go and see. Well, let's see uh... who else did it. We should actually get the guards before we look into it too much. Well, according to Briar's logic, if we don't find the body, it will not be there. <laughs> hmm. I mean, we could do both. Right. There's enough of us. Why I'll system go is? find the guards. Yeah. And head them, lead them to this direction where this body or this blood is. Alright, yeah, you go running up to where the other crime scene is to fetch a couple guards. Uh, and they're like, again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't take very long, uh, but in the meantime, you guys can look for a body if you'd like. I would indeed like. I would like to look for a body, please. All right. Same. Yeah, you guys uh, inspect the uh, cluster of crates and move away a couple of them and find that there is no body, but there is a hole in the dock that the body must have fallen into. Oh god. And is nowhere to be seen. Ooh, that's gonna be a weird auction night. Mm. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got this, this weird piece of coral in the shape of a ship's wheel. Uh, we've got a scrapped and, scrapped and tattered flag and a corpse. Who left their uh, pinky on the ship, on the dock? We found this floating in the water. Somebody's pinky. Well, it looks like it has been gnawed on. That's uh, that's one way to get rid of a body. Well, uh, I'm not swimming in. Fuck uh, no, that's the guard's problem now. Yep. and repeat of last time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the guards come quarantine off the area. <laughs> Question. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tell them we found a hole and some blood. <laughs> Why is it whenever something goes wrong, it's always you three? Fire, <laughs> <laughs> K2, Rava. <laughs> Been wondering that a lot myself. <laughs> yeah, they what they you leave after you answer their questions yeah uh, you, we found blood there you go uh, <laughs> they uh send you on your way you yeah. go to the ship that uh, Kasam leads you to mm -hmm. you head into this area where the meeting is being held and you see uh, Salvix and the additional dragonborn. Uh, however, there's something a bit off about the additional dragonborn. As she is not wearing her usual attire, she is wearing a onesie that looks like a duck. And that what? is where we'll end tonight. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Duck dice. No. <laughs> no. But on that note, I'm going to end the recording here. So we don't get too many details out. But thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>